10 seconds. But the tune is the background tune going to be playing in. Thinking about some power on YouTube. And friend, on a very special nighttime greetings to you. Special thanks as always to nine members international holding down the last couple of hours mm -mm, with Fire Friday. While well, taking your time, it's now nine minutes after to nine o'clock, and we do welcome you to Sex Explosion with Power 102 FM on this Friday evening with the only sexologist in the Caribbean, Dr. Raj Ramanan of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center. And a very special nighttime greetings to you, family. How are you today? Pleasant good evening to you, a pleasant good evening to all the listeners and viewers. If things look a little strange right now for those of you on Facebook, and those of you on Instagram, it's because we are in a, uh, how should I put it, a renovation in a, mode? In a, oh, yeah. yeah. A, another renovation mode. We're doing some work in the studio right now, so I'm in a, a position I'm not accustomed to. I'm looking at Junior's ears. <laughs> <laughs> you are in an inappropriate... <laughs> inappropriate position. In a position. But, you always, but you know, you're the man that deals with sex. You're a sexologist. And they always say different positions are good to try from time to time, right? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> no, I, I, I agree with that. The positions that you mm. you choose to do things uh, yeah. in a, is very important. And yeah. right now I'm in a position here where I could cock back, I could wind back. No. They tell me move to the side. So that was the first thing I did. I moved to the side. Like when, I came, when I came to the studio, I got the instruction to please move to the side. Yeah. No, I did not drop the camera. What camera dropped? Camera drop anywhere? No camera dropped anywhere. Absolutely no camera drops. I don't know what people talking about. Camera drop. Drop Peter drop. Peter wouldn't drop. Drop the only drop I know about is coconut. Yeah, I know you know that coconut drop and what? Coconut. Um cream soda or something. Pala juice. Pala juice. Oh, yeah, that is popular yes, in Sandy Grandi. Oh you know what popular in Sandy Grandi boy. Yeah, these, you know um, what you eat. They used to put them in see. little Coke bottles. You remember that? Pala juice. Pala juice I know yeah. Pala juice well, boy. I, yeah. I was weaned on that. Yeah, I, think the, I think I got the camera in a, a, a better angle. Yeah. So no camera didn't drop in the studio. What dropped in the studio was something else mm -hmm. that we're not going to tell you about. 
Shaira Singh says good night, watching from Toronto. Toronto. So we have a, a Tor we have two two viewers from um, Canada, mm -hmm. Renuka and Shaira. We have Janelle. We have Vicky. We have King. Oh, I know uh, who is that. Okay, right. Lee's on. Lee. Yvette. Yeah. Lisa. Indira. Dolly. Um, maybe if I move this here. And I take my Instagram. Oh, yes, my Instagram people could come here. Oh, better, 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 Junior. Junior, you see? Well, you see how things work out? Things work out perfectly now. Yeah. So, you so, get, so you get yourself in a, in, in a good position. To mako everybody. To mako I mean, for everybody to mako me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the thing about it is not sexual. So I have to say, pleas have to say pleasant, pleasant, pleasant. Um, Oh, somebody want me to drop the camera lower. No, no, the camera can't drop lower. The camera has... <laughs> Why people want me to adjust all kind of things? I'm going to give you a line here. Yeah, let me hear. They want you to drop the camera a bit lower. Mm -hmm. They want you to expose yourself. Folks. Yeah, that's exactly why. Mm -hmm. It's easy, you know. I, you know, I'm not going to say, I'm sure it's easy send that message. I'm going to block you off here with a, with a, with a, um, a microphone. That's something, <laughs> that's something that... A food for thought. A food for thought. She just be thinking very, very um, one of these days far I'm, ahead, you know. One of these days I have to meet Izian because I've been hearing so much about her on this program. And it's surprisingly that she wouldn't visit us at all. Izzy? Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, let me don't get that, go down that road, now, but uh, I have a request. <laughs> I will tell you about after when we take a break sometime later. We have many breaks tonight. Yeah, well, no, we'll be have a couple of breaks. Well, couple. Yeah. And um, the most important When is the first one? In the next five minutes, ten five, minutes? Five minutes. Five right. minutes from now. So five. we wouldn't get started until that time. Right mm -hmm. now, we're just having fun adjusting things. I'm, I'm in a position that... Um, that you could handle anything. <laughs> no, I'm in a position that kind of... You know, it's the first and, time I'm sitting awkward, here. I'm, I'm and, awkward. I'm very... Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm in a very awkward position. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't mind, you know, because I, I'm seeing some things happening in the studio here. That I love. Yeah, as a matter of fact. Yes, very, I very love. I, I, I wonder and, um, we'll have to angle the camera down a little more. Yeah, and for the benefit of the listeners on the end. No, on don't, our, don't, don't give them no benefit. Leave them alone. On our they app. have to see it yeah. when that time comes, not yeah. now. It's the same. I, I, as a matter of fact, that table that is under construction has so much memories. So much history. Yeah. If that, I wonder if the spirits of that table will come out tonight. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. They're gone. They, they, they've been blocked. <laughs> um, we have somebody says, um, who is this? Marlon is on. Birth is on. Mm -hmm. And Marlon, Mina is on. Mina. When Birth, no, for those of you on Facebook, remember to hit the like button, the thumbs up button, the hearts button, whatever button you want to hit, just oh, hit. What kind of button? Just touch button like you're going mad. That is the instruction I got from my IT person at the office, that person should be touching their buttons while they're doing this program. I said that's not a nice thing to say no. on a program like this. You, no, know, you, say, well, you tell, him, no, you tell him women to touch their buttons while, mm. while this program is going on. You know what's going to happen? No, it's much better We're going to have some persons being very excited. Yeah, yeah. Shivani says, good evening, Dr. Raj, and I guess Junior, yes, Junior. Um, yes. Shivani, we haven't heard from Shivani for a while. Yes, for point some time as a matter of Yeah, I say she abandoned us. You know, there's some people who did abandon us. Leslie Ann is on. Um, some persons are hitting the like button and the thumbs up button, so very good. Mm -hmm. um, Rennie is on, so all right. Good. And that is for the persons on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Those of you on Instagram, well, you know what to do. Yeah. Just smile mm -hmm. and be nice and be sexy. Mm -hmm. And you know, <laughs> Send me a little picture now and then, you know. Yes, a little picture would never hurt. A, a little picture now never, and then never, never will never get my juices flowing, yeah. make me think about things in a different way. Have a different perspective of things. Well, it gives me a, a great perspective on things. It gives you. And I'll tell you about perspectives when we get back. I knew you would have done that. Ah, yes, definitely. Yes, By the way, what is, what, is, um, what is the age for pensioners? 60. 60? Yeah. 60 and above? 60 and above. Um, that's when you start getting your grant and all that? That's when you, I think at 60 you get your NIS. And uh, what age you get your um, um, this, um, your I grant from the government? The grant from the government, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's 65. Oh, 65. Yeah. 
Hmm. Somebody so, wanted, somebody wanted to touch a button inside here. Somebody <laughs> wanted to touch a button. That will be until 11. That will be until 11 o'clock. Why so late, boy? Mm -hmm. Why they can't touch it now? Because don't you like your buttons touch? Yes. Um, as a matter of fact, I will go with that because you will have a beautiful refactoring period. Well, right. So you'll have a second, a, a second touch before 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's not bad. I see. Anyway, folks, taking over time, 16 minutes after 9 o'clock, you are listening to Sex Explosion on Power on the FM. On this Friday evening, with the only sexologist in the Caribbean, Dr. Raj Ramanant, our total image, and the adult therapy center, which is located at St. Augustine, where he do treat all sexual dysfunctions in both male and female. Well, tell you what we are going to do is take a break and we'll be right back with you. Stay tuned. Now we're going. Cut your hands and all that. There you go now. Wait, no, yeah, be, be, be not. You only saying that. You're not. Doing. We're not. You are like Cutty Ram? Cutty, Cutty Ram too. <laughs> you notice a lot of these shows coming up now since um, our brother appeared. Why do you make this writing so small, boy? You want to blind your brother here? Good what? The, the, the prince. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I get some prints here that I could have barely read out. At my age, I can read those things. Want to get your products and services out to more customers? Okay. How about getting more people into your store? Does your brand need a boost in exposure? Then radio advertising on Power 1 and 2 is the solution you've been looking Maybe for. Maybe my is very good. Oh, to your needs oh. And a team to the you idea want to know what was going on? Yeah, I want to know. I thought I was going mad. I thought I was spinning top in mud. I thought I was spinning in the studio. Oh. <laughs> 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 You're a comedian, you know? You're a regular comedian. You and your business today. What? Good cue, boy. <clears throat> you open lines one time, right? Yeah, one time. What are you going to do? <clears throat> well, I can tell you this is what it's all about on a Friday evening, right here on Power 102 FM. Your number one all around the station. It's a station that's reliable and effective. 88 to 90 over Cambridge Street in Port of Spain. You are listening to Sex Explosion on this Friday evening with the guru of sex education, Dr. Raj Ramanan, our total image, and the adult therapy center. What well, is here is where we give you the opportunity to interact with Dr. Raj live in studio. You know, some of you might have something sexual that always been on your mind and you need to get your mind clear with these sexual things that you have on your mind. Well, I can tell you, this is the forum for it. And uh, if you do decide that you want to interact with Dr. Raj live here in studio, you can give him a call right now. 222-8255, also at 612-8255. Now, for those of you who might be a bit shy and would like to express yourself but don't want to hear yourself on air, well, we don't usually call your names, but what you can do is send him a private text message or WhatsApp message that's on his private mobile, 740-1961. May I remind you that this program may contain material that is not suitable for children. Parental guidance are therefore advised. Yeah. Given my new position that I'm in the studio, I didn't get a... Re I didn't get a Mm. A new position in the company. Yeah. You know, if someone calls in, I wouldn't be able to hear. <laughs> no. You, yeah. What would I hear? You're going to throw it to the oh. outside speaker? Or are you going to put it on? Oh. <laughs> well, we can test it. No, we can test yeah, it. somebody call and let's see how we're going to test that because that mm -hmm. speaker is facing that way. Yeah. The control is over, way over there. 
-hmm. So how am I going to hear what the person is no, well, saying? What, no, well, what I will you do... You put it on the outside speaker? I'll put it on the outside speaker. Okay. And then when you answer... So we're going to get it on the outside speaker so everyone can hear. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. So yeah. let's see. We have some questions coming up here. Dr. Raj, let's say you got to do the work for two people while having sex. Why is it a woman... Why is it as a woman after having an orgasm, I can't do that extra work now? It's because of medical back reason he can't do his part right now. Well, that is one sentence with no punctuation in it, so I don't understand exactly what is being said. Mm. I'm trying to figure it out. I wonder if the person is complaining about having to do the work of the guy and herself. I'm looking for the punctuation, where to stop, where to breathe, where to... I'm sorry, I really, I really can't figure out what you're asking. Um, but I know it's difficult when a woman has an orgasm uh -huh. to, um, to carry on with sex sometimes. Mm -hmm. There's some women when they have an orgasm, they get so tired that their refractory period kicks in and they need to rest. Mm -hmm. And if the guy expects that the girl is going to go on with, or the woman is going to go on with things that will make him enjoy sex more, it may not be that way. Mm, okay. so it all depends. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it depends on your partner also. Some guys are considerate, some are not co very considerate. They don't um, pay attention to what your needs are. And um, Being selfish, is, would it be fair to say that? Well, of course. Of course. Mm. If you get into a sexual tryst with someone and you don't, you don't put whatever you need to put out for the person to enjoy themselves, mm -hmm. Um, remember, I keep saying, when you're in a sexual encounter, it's not only about you. But of course, if you're thinking a sec in a selfish way, you will make it about you and don't consider what the mm -hmm. other person needs. The needs of the other person is also mm -hmm. very important. A considerate lover, a person who is into sex in a different manner, mm -hmm. would be more considerate of what your needs are, or even to teach you certain things or to take it at a different level. Mm. That's why I I know for a fact that the more mature you become, yeah. I don't want to use the word older, the more mature you become in sex, mm -hmm. the more it takes to turn you on. So there are lots of um, mature men out there who cannot un enjoy sex the way they used to enjoy sex before because it's not the run of the mill thing. Mm. It has to be something much more exciting. Mm -hmm. And what brings the excitement? The excitement starts in the brain. We know that. It's what we think about. Now with the advent of porn and, and porn being so easily accessible now, person may see something in porn or hear of something or they, they want to consider something totally different mm -hmm. and that's what, what happens. Now, uh, long ago, before porn became so easily or readily available, persons would hear of things. They will hear their friends talking about something of a sexual situation. They may read it in a book. Most of the time they read it in a book because you had Playboy, you had Hustler magazine, oh, yeah. you had so many different magazines. Mm -hmm. It was not readily available, but somebody will read something and then they will come and tell you what they, they have read. Even the books or instructions on sex will also tell you about things of a sexual nature. And then you'll say, hey, maybe I could try this. Mm -hmm. Well, they may, they, reading something... And your interpretation of it is, is, is well, it's two, different. two different things. Oh, yeah. After you do that, what's the next step? Putting it into practice. Now, many a times you open a manual to read something and it tells you, you have to do X, Y, Z. You have to open the package in a particular way. When you buy stuff, now you, you, sometimes you have to have a degree to put together a, a, a mm -hmm. table. Because it's all nuts and bolts yeah, and yeah. proper pro, part A going to part like C. No, no, no. Yeah. I, well, I love doing that. Mm -hmm. I, I like jigsaw puzzles and I like doing that. My daughter is very good at it. My son is not. Mm -hmm. Because my know. daughter grew up with me doing that. Okay. That we'll buy yeah. stuff and we'll just put in I this. And I love doing that. I, yeah, I like spreading on. everything. I, I, buy, I, I bought chandeliers. Chandeliers. I talk about huge chandeliers. And you have to assemble it from scratch. No, like that. And the only person who could help me with that was my daughter. Mm -hmm. And she did a fantastic job. We would sit down for hours, no, but yeah. set everything up, put the rings where you're supposed to put it, and mm -hmm. all of a sudden, oh, you've just started yeah, moving. But some, something like that you have But you don't to, stop. No, but something like that, you have to have a lot of patience. 
or is and I don't have patience. And it's something that you have to learn. No, I do. don't have patience. I'm a very impatient person. Mm -hmm. uh, but I enjoy doing it. And I like knowing that, that I could accomplish doing something like mm -hmm. that. So it, it doesn't take much out of me. So when I see things being done, like what I'm seeing being done right now, yeah. I, want to, I want to watch that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I learn that way. Oh. So it's the very same thing when I'm doing things at home. If I have to put together something, I'll do that. Like, you know those model aircraft and planes and cars oh, and yes. things? Yeah. I used mm -hmm. to put together those things. Yeah, those and I'm not a patient person. Oh, One of my hobbies in life, which I've never mentioned before, and I may not even mention it, no, is, a, is something that is very time-consuming. And you have to have a lot of patience. And I, that is my one of my, that is my favorite hobby. Well, the minute you take out the instructions and that sheet and they're thinking this screw is supposed to go here, that screw, for me... You lost. I, I go on. No, I, I like that. Yeah, I like that. I, uh, to me, that's a puzzle. Mm -hmm. Anyway, folks, taking over time, 26 minutes after 9 o'clock, inside Sex Explosion on this Friday evening with sexologist Dr. Ranch Brandon of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center, which is located at St. Augustine. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back with you. Stay tuned. What material is that? Glass. Quick glass? Liquid glass. Liquid glass. Uh -huh. Oh, is that a resin? I know before they used to put a resin and just let it. Liquid glass. A glass going over it cracks. And that is the glass. Eh? That is the glass you put in on there. That is the glass you put in on there? Yes. Now I tell you I'm fascinated by it. Wow. Eh? You know me well from where? Jail? Tell me. So shall I say? Oh God! I sorry for you, brother. I sorry for you. If that is the name you call it, Susie. I sorry for you. How much she take you for? How much she take you for? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Is Susie you talking about it? Yeah. What? You know off me, you don't know me well. You'll know what she have told you about me, but you wouldn't know me. <laughs> that is one crook boy. Nice looking. You know Susie? That that funny name sound familiar? You know Susie. <clears throat> Where are you from? Okay. Okay, we're going back. <clears throat> well, I can tell you that when it comes to nighttime radio, we are always one step ahead with a beautiful blend of entertainment. I tell you, nothing brings people closer to their radio than Power 102 FM. We are your number one fan. Sex Explosion on this Friday evening with sex biologist Dr. Raj Mangan of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center. Just to remind you once again that our lines are open if you would love to interact with them via the telephone 2228255, also at 6128255. If you do decide that you want to send him a WhatsApp or a text message, you can also do that on his private mobile 7401961. You can also send in your messages on our website at power102fm. You are listening to a program that deals with sex, love, and relationships exclusively on Power102FM. Yeah. So getting back to what I was talking about, when it comes to a woman enjoying herself, mm -hmm. or a guy enjoying himself with his partner, if you're not following instructions. Long ago, you'll hear about something where you read something and you'll want to follow the instructions or the letter and you'll want to do that and hopefully it will turn out the way they describe it turning out and you hope that you're going to get the full results that way. Mm -hmm. yeah. But mm -hmm. it's not that way when it comes to sex because sex is a practical thing and it, de it depends on the two individuals who are involved. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. And the man may not react the way <coughs> The woman wants him to, or the woman may not react the way the man wants her to, and that takes everything out of it. Because when you are 
when you're studying sex or you're studying individuals and their participation and the things that they do you cannot extrapolate from one person and put it onto another person and say this is how this person is going to react mm -hmm. so in the study of sex or sexology when you are act hello you, you're moving my camera yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know the situation <laughs> you remind you know what that reminds me of what a joke with larry joseph no nah, uh, don't call me that it reminds me so much. Uh -huh. You have a bedroom or no? Wait on the street. <laughs> yeah, as you were saying. Yes. So, you cannot just take something from one place and mm -hmm. put it into another place, or one person and put it into another person and say, this is how she's going to react, or this is how he's going to react. Mm -hmm. It's not going to happen that way. Mm -hmm. So, when you're studying persons, and you're studying sexology, and you're studying behavior, when somebody gives you information, you have to decipher what will work for that person. And most of the times, most of the times, a person don't know what's going to work for them, you know. Mm -hmm. You don't know what's going to work for you if you've never been in an orgy and you're going into an orgy. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't know what, was, what is going to work for you if you're going with a woman for the very first time and you know there's nothing about her. No, you don't know. You don't know. No, you wouldn't know what to so it's experimenting. That's what you do. In sex, you experiment. Mm -hmm. You experiment with the person, and as the person ages, as the person matures, things change. Mm -hmm. So that very first, first, that very same person who you were doing things with, that's somebody testing all life. Yeah, we have a call now. Wait, before I, let me just finish this point. That very first person, same person that you were accustomed to doing something with, mm -hmm. later on in life, things would have changed, whatever caused the change, and he or she may behave differently to the very same thing that they enjoyed before. Mm. And this is where we don't learn to adapt. We don't learn to adjust. And we expect that our spouse is going to behave the very same way. Mm, okay. Take the call. Okay, let's see. Uh, hello and welcome to Sexplosion. Good evening. Good night. Uh, uh, Dr. Raj? Good evening. Okay. Yes, good evening. Yes, yes, good evening. Can you talk to Dr. Raj, please? Yes, you are live on the program. Go ahead. Um, Dr. Raj, um, you know, around penis, there's um, a, a white buildup and a, a white ring around the penis. Hello? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you mean what builds up in the morning time? I wonder the way I could use for that. I'm asking you a question. You mean what builds up in the morning time? No. Y yes, in the morning. Well, that's called spegma. It have nothing you could use for that. That is natural. That's the body. That's that's part of the body cleansing process. Oh, okay. So all you do is wash it out with water. That is what you can use for it. You no know, water. H2O. And which part of your um, office is in Princess Talk? Um, when in Tento Road. Number 54, when in Tento Road in Princess Town. Okay, thank you very much. You know where that is, right? You know, you know where that is, right? Okay, family, thank you for calling. Mm -hmm. okay, uh, you're welcome. We have some messages here. I think um, Shivani, I like that. Why don't you do that all the time? What's that? Throw it to the outside speaker so then they could hear. Mm -hmm. No, seriously, they don't hear their foreign little speaker. So you, see, we all, you see how we discover things? We discover things. Yeah. So you could have been doing that all the time and people wouldn't have to say, we don't hear the callers. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they heard the callers now. Did you all hear the callers? For those of you on Instagram and Facebook, did you hear the callers? I have some, I have some questions for that gentleman. There, you know? <laughs> fascinating, fascinating. <laughs> Dr. Raj, I did not abandon you all. I just, It's just that I babysit my grandson and I am tired like that. I always listen but falls asleep. That is Shivan. Oh, Shivan. So she did not abandon us. Yeah, so um, Renuka says, yes, she heard us. Uh, Mina says, yes. Leslie says, yes. So you see people are hearing us. Mm. No, but but I, see, no, no, the thing about it is that... Don't, don't think about it. No. <laughs> they just don't want people to hear what's going on. Is it no. possible good <laughs> Is it possible good enough for a 29-year-old man to be with a 48-year-old woman? Anybody could be with anyone. Mm -hmm. Once they're not breaking the law. No. But it's how society look at it. Well, it's how... You and your family would look at it, mm -hmm. and your spouse or your partner and their family would look at it. 
it's not a difficult thing, you know. You could be with anyone. It's managing your situation and managing your affair. Even being with someone your same age. Yeah. Sometimes it's very difficult because remember, as you age, mm -hmm. a man's sex drive changes before a woman's sex drive changes. When a man's sex drive drops in his late 30s, early 40s, a woman's sex drive is on the up. Mm, okay. So, when is it compatible sexually and when is it compatible for society? Mm. How would so society look at it? Mm. That's where the challenge comes in. What you are willing to sacrifice, how much you are willing to sacrifice and what you are what willing to do. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Very. Anyway, folks, taking our time, 25 minutes before 10 o'clock. Sex explosion on this Friday evening with the guru of sex education, Dr. Raj Brandanen, our total image and the adult therapy center, which is located at St. Augustine. 2228255, also at 6128255. Feel free to interact with Dr. Raj live here in the studio. Power 102 FM, a station that's reliable and effective. Yeah. Shakira wants to know if we does, um, deal with cysts. Yes, I do deal with cysts, polycystic ovaries, any th form of cysts in the vaginal area, any form of cysts in the reproductive area. Yeah. We deal with that. It's a very simple treatment. You don't need to do surgery unless, of course, you are at the point where nothing else would work. Um, and we treat that at any one of the clinics, either at St. Augustine, mm. at Total Image in St. Augustine, or Dr. Raj Adal Boutique in Debe, and also in um, Princess Town. Princess Town. Yeah. And for those of you interested in getting any more information on it, you can call now, 645-4543, 645-4543. There's someone by the phone now to take your call, so you can call in and ask or make an appointment to be there. Mm, as simple as that. As simple as that. Very, very simple. So, let's get back to, we have any more questions mm. here? Yes, yeah, so this is the person who asked about sis. Alana says, good night, Dr. Raj and Junior. Lovely program. Thank you very much. No questions, Alana? That's a nice name. Alana? Yeah. Did I tell you um, I spoke to our friend, you know? Um, I, I know. I know. It's hitting mm -hmm. me already. Yeah. Did I tell you I spoke to our friend whose uh, mother um, passed, away. passed away? Yeah. Oh, you spoke yeah. to her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I convey your condolences yeah. to her also. Because so. that's the Friday night she was listening to the program. Hmm. Amazing, yeah? amazing, massive heart attack. Wow, yeah, yeah. And our number one wish was to meet you, hmm. honestly. Wow, well, that's sad, man. Yeah, so we have to make time sometime to do the things that we must do. Anyway, folks, we'll taking over time, it's now 21 minutes before 10 o'clock. Inside Sex Explosion on this Friday evening, Dr. Raj Ramnanen of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center at St. Augustine. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back with you. Stay tuned. Hey, burst any bubbles? Get any air out? Tired of boring ice cream? So it settles for itself then? Yeah. Equally? Yeah. Yeah. That's like this thing that is put on the floor. So when you say cook it, you have to put everything together and cook it up. Oh, so when it when you cook it, it turns into liquid. Interesting. So when you want a glass on your ass, boy. Well, are you thinking? Yeah. What's it become last? What is that? Give me a card. I like that. 
Want to continue that when it comes to nighttime radio, we are always one step ahead with a beautiful blend of sex education. Exclusively on Power to FM with sexologist Dr. Ranch Randanen on this Friday evening. Taking sex education where it has never been before, exclusively on Power 102 FM. Don't forget our lines are open if you would love to interact with Dr. Raj live here in studio at 222-8255, also at 612-8255. Yeah. So getting back to sex and sex education and the questions that are being asked, but I, I like I like that I like that thing about the woman and the part that she play, you know, because I, I know a lot of women who can go on and on and on, mm -hmm. despite the fact that they have had an orgasm. There are some women who are multiple orgasmic. There are some women who have, did not know that they are multiple orgasmic until they get into a situation where they, they experience multiple orgasm, and it's, it's something that really blows their mind. Mm -hmm. So Multiple is a plus. Multiple, sometimes it's a plus, it's sometimes it's a, a, a minus, because when you come down from that, you don't okay. want somebody touching you. Oh, you have kind of itchy. Yeah, itchy. well, it's a, it's, a, it's a funny yeah. feeling. I don't know if you could recall Thick Sauce. Hi, good night. First time. From a long she, time. First, I wonder if that's the same original, but the they're sauce saying um, good night first time on the program. Well, then that's somebody else. So that's a different sauce now. Uh -huh. mm. So we're getting our sauces right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, folks, taking over time, 19 minutes before 10 o'clock. 222-8255, also at 612-8255. Sexplosion, exclusively on Power 102 FM. Yeah. I saw two of my cousins were on. I didn't say hello to them. Gandeo and Kiki. Mm. They both on. I, Gandeo, I didn't see you in funeral today, were you? I told you I was funeral hopping today, right? Oh, yes, funeral. But three what funerals in one. Three? Three. Three. Three funerals in one? Well, at the bank. Mm hmm At the bank. Well, when we say bank, Karen, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Three of them. Good night, Raj. I forgot to tell you that my... Oh, oh my God. I could... Thank God I didn't read that. Mm -hmm. You want to do is eh? Thank God I didn't read that. I don't know who is listening. I couldn't. I couldn't say that. I'll get in trouble. Serious trouble? No, uh, not me getting in trouble. The person. Oh, the person. The person who sent that. Ooh, I didn't say the name before. That's yeah. a good thing. Yeah, that's good. All right. You know, always. <laughs> yeah. So, what are the things you? <clears throat> no, 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 no. Don't go there. You'll get in trouble. You'll want to say something that you shouldn't have said. And what would happen? You wouldn't want that, you wouldn't want that to happen, right? You don't want to spoil things. That wouldn't be nice. It's true, Dr. Raj. I have multiple orgasms. And when I come down from the high, hmm. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it's a, it's, it's a strange thing, orgasm, with mm -hmm. women. There are some women who can enjoy sex and not have an orgasm. Mm -hmm. But they're satisfied. There are some women that will have one orgasm and that's it, they lock off. They're done for the night. And there are some women who, will, who are multiple orgasmic. And right through the session, they'll continue to have orgasm, even have orgasm a day after. Mm -hmm. But it all depends on the person. That's why I tell you, you can't take something from one individual and put it onto another individual and expect that it's going to happen the same way. Yeah, but the thing about it, eh, as you rightfully say, I mean, having or getting to an orgasm, I mean, that's the, that's the thing that you're in it for, basically, to get satisfied. But what you're telling me, how women could go through sexual intercourse without having an orgasm? But, but still, be satisfied. But be satisfied. You don't, you don't need an orgasm to be satisfied. That's the, that's the, fun, that's the funny thing about it. You could be sexually satisfied without having an orgasm mm -hmm. simply by the act. And there's some woman who requires an orgasm to have satisfaction. So you see how difficult it could become? Yeah, it could be difficult. Right? So you have one woman yeah. who don't need an orgasm to be satisfied. There are some women like that. Whether they're in the minority or the majority, I cannot say because I haven't done that research. 
Yeah. But there are women who can have intercourse and be satisfied with intercourse, however long it takes or whatever form of intercourse it may be, and say that they're satisfied. Well, let's use the word say that they're satisfied. Mm -hmm. There are those in that say that they're satisfied that just say it so that their partner don't feel bad. So let's say 50% of the persons say that so their partner don't feel bad about it. But the other 50% they're really satisfied. They don't need additional sex. They don't need to have an orgasm. Mm -hmm. And you don't need to have an orgasm to get pregnant. You don't need to have an orgasm for anything other than sexual satisfaction. You know? It's like the clitoris. The clitoris in a woman has no function other than for sex. Right? So you could be having sex. Let's say, for example, you're having sex with a, someone who's strange to you. And you are accustomed to have an orgasm in a particular position, but that person does not utilize that position. They doesn't put that position into mm -hmm. use while having sex with you. But simply because you're having sex with this person, you feel satisfied. But you didn't have an orgasm. So it is the situation and it is the person that you're having sex with. Ooh, that okay. brings about okay. the satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not saying you can't have that satisfaction with your husband or your boyfriend. You can have the satisfaction with anyone as long as you come to the realization that you are satisfied with, the, with whatever sexual tryst is taking place. Mm -hmm. There are those who say I'm satisfied, but they're dissatisfied. And they're miserable sexually. And they fall into a different category. And then there are those who must have an orgasm if every time they have sex. Now those, the first category, yeah. They may have an orgasm ever so often. They may never have an orgasm. Who knows? I, I don't know. And like I said, I haven't done that research. I don't think I have enough personnel and, and, and data to do that. Mm -hmm. So I need to gather that. But if you're dealing with the person now who needs to actually have an orgasm, yeah. that person may not be multiple orgasmic. It may be one orgasm and that's it. Mm, okay. Yeah. Just one, one. orgasm and that's it. They satisfied. They're done. They don't want to. Do, do. Like um, Fixor said that I don't get an orgasm all the time. Is that normal? Yes. That's so. what I'm telling you. There are some women who don't get an orgasm every time they have sex, mm -hmm. and you don't need to have an orgasm every time you have sex, as long as you feel that level of satisfaction. Yeah, but you don't. Okay. What is your level of satisfaction when drinking water? When is the level of satisfaction? I mean, what is your level of satisfaction when drinking water? Mm -hmm. Answer me that question. No, I don't have an answer for that. It have a very simple answer for that. It depends on how thirsty you are. Mm -hmm. If you know you have to drink a glass of water and you pick up the glass of water and you drink half glass and you put it down, you're satisfied. But if you go running a marathon in the hot sun and a man hand you a bottle of water, you're satisfied with that? It is the same mm -hmm. water. It's the same thing with sex. That's as simple as I could put it. <clears throat> How much water it's going to take to satisfy you is dependent on your thirst. What satisfies you with sex is dependent on what is happening at the time and who you're having sex with. Mm. Yeah, but the thing about it, eh, as you rightfully say, if you're with someone and, I mean, you're having sex and they don't reach that height, you as the man, I mean, you would feel a pressure to a certain point. But you don't know the height. What? How do you know the height? How do you know the height? The height of sex is dependent on the day, the time, the place, and what you're doing, you know. I'm, I, I'm going to ask you a question. You have had many years of sexual experience. I'm not assuming this. I'm telling you this. Can you tell me of any two instances when the sex was the same? No. Well, right. So how would you know if the sex is, let's say, a quickie? How come some people can have a quickie and enjoy sex? And some persons will tell you, well, I cannot enjoy a quickie. But it's because they never had a quickie. Mm. Now, if you say you don't like a quickie, it's different from I don't enjoy a quickie. That's a difference. That's a difference, yeah. So it's what you say, what you're actually doing, and the circumstance by which you, you, you find yourself. What are the circumstances when it comes to sex? And who it is you're having sex with? with. 
what that person does to your mind, what that person does to your body, what that person does to your soul. The sexual act that you're engaging in, the very same thing. Let's get back to water. You're in an environment, let's say an air-conditioned environment, you're working, you go outside by the cooler, you press the knob, you fill a cup, you drink the cup, you're done, you satisfy your thirst. If you're outside working in the hot sun, same amount of hours as you were in the office, you'll require more water because it will not quench your thirst. So the sexual act is dependent on where you are and what you're doing. So your partner now must, can't tell you, can't, you cannot go into a sexual situation. Even with somebody you're accustomed to having sex with and know that how to satisfy them every time. Because things change. That's why I keep getting back to that thing about maturity. An 18-year-old will be sexually satisfied with anything he gets. A hand job, a blow job, a quickie. He just wants a bossy nut and he good. Isn't that so? Oh, yes. Right. Mm -hmm. As mm. that young man ages, and based on the type of experiences he have had, the number of times he have had sex, who he have had sex with, what sex was all about, the longevity of it and whatnot. What happens then? He's building up something within himself. He's building up what you call a repertoire. It's like a singer. A singer goes to sing, he learns a number of songs. So he belts out the songs. It might be five songs. Is that the only five songs he knows? That's his repertoire? Or he goes back and learns another five. And next year he learns 20. So he has 30 songs that he could sing now. Sing now. I have seen professional singers, when they do it concert, will open a book. And I'm talking about the great Kishore Kumar. He had a huge book that he used to have on stage. And when you ask him to sing a song, yeah. he will go and look for that song in that book. He didn't have a computer in those days. This huge book, it was a huge, huge book. But you know why? He has sang 10,000 songs. Mm. So he cannot remember every song he sang. So then he'll ask the musician to play the note. And when they play the note, then he realizes what song then it is. Catch on. Right. It's like Sparrow. Sparrow will know, Sparrow could belt out 20 songs that, he, that everybody has asked him about. But somebody might ask him about a song that he sang at the beginning of his career. He will say, well, I don't remember the words for it, which is true. Mm -hmm. But that's because his repertoire is so large. So your sexual repertoire has become so large with so many persons that you have had sex with. Right? Mm -hmm. What happens to you? When you go to perform with your partner, you don't know what your partner likes. You cannot know what he or she likes at that age, at that stage in life. We go through stages in life, you know. There's a, there's a very famous stage, uh, statement we make in Trinidad. Once a man, twice a child. That works for everything, you know. Hmm. Let's take a break. Anyway, folks, taking up time, it's now 7 minutes before 10 o'clock inside Sex Explosion on this Friday evening with the Guru of Sex Education. Dr. Raj Ramdanen of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center, which is located at St. Augustine, and he do treats on sexual dysfunctions in both male and female. Well, I'll tell you what we are going to do. Take a break and we'll be right back with you. Stay tuned. According to all official estimates, both local and international, so when you scoop out like that, what fills back there? Level back for yourself. Yeah. Break here. Oh, all right. And how long that takes to dry? Touch it after five hours. Imprint. Soft. So we could do the counter on one side. Like where they cash in. Oh, 
They seem, yeah. Yeah, well, right. Correct. So they know where they could get that and they put their number and all that. They look real neat, boy. I like that. Yeah. You wouldn't believe this. You're the fifth person I've met in the last year who tell me that they were trying. Fifth person. No, she knows to play, you know. She burst in that way. How long ago that was? Was about the lights and the police. Serious? Because when when um, she called me and showed me what she do, I I don't know where she live in, so I call the police station and, I, that, and when they, they say well how would you know the house? I say I sure you know her. When I call the name, they say yeah 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 we know. <laughs> Great man. Great, great. Love it. We talking business? Do that on a counter by me. that there's always more to explore in sex education when you are on the inside of Sexplosion on Power 102.1 FM with sexologist Dr. Raj Vandenen of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center, which is located at St. Augustine. Don't forget our lines are open. If you would love to interact with them via the telephone, feel free at 222-8255. Also at 612-8255. If you do decide that you want to send him a WhatsApp or a text message, that can also be done on his private mobile, 7401961. You can also send in your messages on our website at power12fm, and we will air it for you. Yeah. My partner does get weak too fast. Why? Well, I don't know your partner, and I don't know why he or she does get weak too fast. Weak too fast. And I don't know what you mean by weak too fast. Maybe. Don't try to analyze it. No, you, the reason why you cannot analyze it, first of all, I don't know if your partner is male or female. Mm -hmm. Partner is, could be could any be gender. Anyone. Right. Right? I don't know what you mean by get weak too fast. This is a sexual program. So we will assume that it is about sex, but what it means by getting weak. Yeah, it means cover, weak means anything. that you lose your erection, mm -hmm. you collapses while having sex, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I don't like when people give me that kind of one-liner yeah. and don't give me details because I can't under, I can't explain. That's a question that would have you guessing. Yes, and I don't like to guess. I like yeah. to be precise with yeah. my information. So I was telling about once a man, twice a child. And let's look at it. And I, I always use this as a reference. And this is any sexologist will tell you that and any psychologist will tell you this. Whether they want to admit it or not, especially if they've, they've studied Freudian theory, mm -hmm. they will tell you that this is so. With most individuals, not all, but most, the majority. So if the majority are like that, you mm -hmm. can say, well, it covers all. Mm -hmm. Right? You start off like this. This is you in your youth. Whether your youth starts at 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. This is someone... Older, 50 plus. Uh -huh. Younger you are, you're more attracted to the older. Because you're looking for experience. You're looking to build experience. You want that person down over here. Mm -hmm. So you are, you are a young man here who is looking for someone here. And this has to do with a male. I'm, I'm dealing with the male here. 
as you age, it comes like this. So maybe around 22, you're looking at somebody in their 20s, mid-20s, and there comes a time when it intersects. Mm, okay. Yeah. But what happens? This is what happens. Now, the progression could be like this, or the progression could be could very be slow. slow, or it could be very slow. Again, it depends on the individual. So when you reach this intersection now, mm -hmm. it's you, you are interested in persons your age. How long that lasts, I can't say. It depends on the individual again. And what happens? This is what happens. As the man ages, he looks for a younger. Mm. Once a man, twice a child. Yeah. So the psychologist will tell you that that's something that happens to us. So it's not only a physical thing that when we talk about disease and, and death and a person being bedridden and whatnot, it's not only that. It is a sexual thing also. So you're looking at somebody who is here and heading in this direction. So in midlife crisis, most men look for younger, younger women. I'm using the word women now. The younger woman becomes younger and younger. So it's a psychological thing. Now, you wonder if it applies to women also. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Because you talk about women here. Mm. The attraction is here. So it's, it, it may look opposite, but it's not. It is not. Yeah, but it, yes, it, it so the attraction be. is there. Mm -hmm. But each individual, it will be different for each individual. So if you stay here, the longer you stay here, the stronger your relationship remains with your partner, providing that he or she is around your same age. Mm -hmm. Once you start to part this way, the attraction changes. Now, if this partner who was here don't learn to adapt and do the things for the man who is heading in this direction, you're going to lose. How you punch you? You're going to lose your partner because you're not doing enough to keep him satisfied mentally. Or keep him interested in you. Because you're not role-playing or you're not doing the things that will make him want you. Hmm. Anyway, folks, taking our time, it's now two minutes after 10 o'clock. And I can definitely tell you that knowledge and experience, this is what it's all about when you are on the inside of Sex Explosion on this Friday evening with the guru of sex education, Dr. Raj Ramanan of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center, which is located at St. Augustine. Just to remind you once again that our lines are open. If you would love to interact with Dr. Raj, feel free at 222-8255, also at 612-8255. Now, for those of you who would love to send him a WhatsApp or a text message of your questions, feel free, 740-1961. You can also send in your messages on our website at power102fm. Yeah. What is the best thing about your profession? Someone is asking me this question. What do you appreciate it for? The diversity in my profession. Mm. The diversity and the psychology that is, that the psychology and the sociology that is involved in my profession. It is a very diverse thing. The, you, you see so many things, you hear so many things. You hear things that the average Joe don't hear. You see things that the average Joe don't see. You get involved in things that will blow people's mind. But that, that, some persons will say, well, it's very rewarding. Yes, it is, provided that you can handle those things also. Mm -hmm. There are lots of persons in the profession who cannot handle it, you know, uh -huh. because of the route that they have taken to become a sexologist. Mm -hmm. If you take the medical route, you are challenged with what you can do and how far you can do. The very same thing with psychology, because psychology is only dealing with the brain. Mm -hmm. A sexologist, a raw sexologist from the PhD level, deals with every and any aspect of it. You cover the whole. Cover you cover, whole, everything. cover everything. So the diversity is greater. There's so much thing that is rewarding to you as a person because of the things that you do to fulfill other person's life. But not only that, it is also understanding the challenges that you face and understanding your partner better and understanding yourself better as you age. Because sometimes, okay, for example, this simple thing called midlife crisis, a lot of people don't understand it. They think it's going out and buy a sports car or getting a younger girl or, you know, or something like It's not that. It's much more than that. It's the changes that takes place in your body. Your, 
the way you adapt to certain situations, your adaptability, how you deal with the information that you have, and wrapping yourself around it. Also, another thing is sometimes you could be part of something, but be a part of apart from it. You don't have to participate. You don't have to take part. But you're part of it. But you're part of it. So you understand things differently. So sometimes you hear things on the news, you read things on the newspaper, you see a news story or whatever, and you understand it from a different angle. And a person will look at you and say, well, how could you say that? How but it's because of your understanding of it, because you understand human nature differently. Yes, but both of us reading one thing. We would have, we would have two different we would have versions. Two different views yeah. of it, eh? And that, that's, that's natural, but I'm talking from a sexologist's point of view. When it comes to certain things that are newsworthy yeah. in, in sex, we look at things much differently. We see it from a, um, from a deeper angle, um, from a different angle, and we understand it for what it is. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, folks, taking our time, seven minutes after 10 o'clock, you are making radio an experience by itself. When you are on the inside of Sex Explosion on Power 2.1 FM, Sex Knowledges, Dr. Raj Ramanan, for those of you who would love to interact with him, as I mentioned a couple of minutes ago, Sean, how are you? 222-8255, also at 612-8255. May I remind you that this program may contain material that is not suitable for children. Parental guidance are therefore advised. Yeah. So what one person will condemn as being, okay, there are things that are happening in society that others will frown upon. And they'll say, well, why is this happening? How could persons allow this to happen? You know, what that person is doing this for? How they could, you know, what, what, whatever it is. And we look at it and say, what, well, that is society? Yeah. yeah. That's how society is built. That's what persons look for. For example, prostitution. There's a big debate about prostitution all the time, whether it should be legalized, not legalized, whatever, whatever, whatever. There's nothing going to stop that. Absolutely nothing is going to stop that. Well, that was before we even came and it will be after. It will be know. long after we go. Mm -hmm. But when you think about the most controlled societies on this earth that there were, communism and socialism and whatnot, and it thrived during then, mm -hmm. in those societies, you think you're ever going... They got, as a matter of fact, in some of those societies, religion was banned, but prostitution was never banned. It was always there. Although it wasn't legal, it was still there. Mm -hmm. So what you have to look at is what happens in societies, different parts of the world, what, what, what transpires where, how people adapt to things, what they're looking for as they mature, as a nation mature, as a people mature. Yeah. What people use as guidelines, I, I, I tell you something, Trinidad and Ibu Samota Church. And when I talk church at our church, Temple and Mosque. matter of fact, even different religions. Well, that's what I talk about it's, when I say that. Yeah. Yet still... Yet still, sex is something that is not frowned upon mm -hmm. as other societies where you have less. We are very open towards sex you know, compared to other societies. And if, I, I, I'm not talking off the cuff. If you study other societies in the Caribbean, you'll realize how far advanced we are in our thinking and our behavior and what we do, our accepting of things and whatnot. Some of those things are not acceptable in other jurisdictions in the Caribbean. Right? What, whatever it is, same-sex relationship, whatever it may be. But that shows a certain level of maturity in a society. What brought about that, I can't say. Maybe it's the diversity that we have that brought that about. So that's why I tell you it's very diverse. So what is my satisfaction? My satisfaction is watching people, social anthropologists, admiring how things transform over the years. Given myself a mandate that I must change the way we think about sex and the way we behave when it comes to things of our sexual nature. Mm. And here I am today, doing exactly that. Mm. Anyway, folks, taking over time, 10 minutes after 10 o'clock, inside Sex Explosion on Power 102 FM. With the only sexologist in the Caribbean, Dr. Raj Ramanan of Total Image and the Adult oh, Therapy oh. Center at St. Augustine. Steve Gunn. Oh. We're going <laughs> to...
<laughs> Steve is in the house. Steve is in the house. <laughs> if he leave you in the morning, program you know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, folks, taking your time 10 minutes after 10 o'clock, we'll take a break and would be right back with you. Stay tuned. To bring it close to this. Oh, cut it off from under here. <laughs> cut it off from under here and put in another piece. Yeah. So you get the exact same thing. can tell you that nobody does better what we do best when it comes to sex education right here on Power 102 FM. Sexologist Dr. Raj Ramanan of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center located at St. Augustine. 2228255 also at 6128255. Nobody does better what we do best. It's a program that deals with sex, <coughs> love and relationships. Exclusively on Power 102 FM. Yeah. I see my nephew have joined us. Darren, mm -hmm. how are you? Darren, okay. Ian has Darren joined is us. In yeah, Darren is in Trinidad. What about women who is always wet? If a woman is always wet, mm -hmm. that is not a problem. Is not? No, no, it's not. What happens is that she has to know to take care of herself. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, over lubrication, is an indication of a person's health. Uh -huh. It is an indication of um, the secretion from the co from their glands, the botulinum glands and other, and that is what brings about that wetness. Now, dryness is an issue. When you dry or overly dry, you have to use a lubrication, and the best form of lubrication is something that is not easily absorbed by the body, which is a natural lubrication. So you use a natural lubrication to have intercourse because if you have intercourse with a dry vagina, it causes tear in the vagina, the vaginal walls, mm -hmm. and that causes scar tissue, and scar tissue don't stretch. So you have an issue with that. A woman who is overly wet, what happens is that when you have an intercourse, sometimes the penis slips out very easily. Sometimes the over lubrication can cause loss of friction, but it's a simple solution for that. All you'd use is a cloth. A rag. Was about to, uh, because I, I hear cloth. Remember, uh, here, here. Right. A wiping cloth. Oh, but that's what, yeah, but what would cause a woman to be wet for a long period of time without even having sexual feelings? Again, it is dependent on the health of the woman, right? It, the age of the woman also. And remember, as you age, things change. So that has to do a lot with your, um, your maturity. Mm -hmm. It has to do with your aging process. It has to do with your body producing liquid. Mm, okay. Yeah. You know, you have some yeah. persons, their, their, their palms are sweaty. Yes. Or they sweat more than others. Mm -hmm. There's some women who don't sweat. Right? This is the very same thing. I've come across a lot of people, are quite a few people, that, I mean, whole day, their hands are wet. Wet and clammy. Yeah. Right. And they have to walk around with a cloth. Right. They always wipe in. So the very same thing. When you're having intercourse, you just use your cloth. cloth. Mm. 
Anyway, family, nobody does better what we do best when it comes to sex education right here on Power 102 FM. I tell you, this is what it's all about, taking sex education where it has never been made for, with the guru of sex. Dr. Raj Ramanan of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center. Located at St. Augustine, feel free, our lines are open. Anything that might be bothering you that is sexual, well, I could tell you this is the forum for it. Feel free, 222-8255, also at 612-8255. If you do decide that you want to send him a WhatsApp or a text message, you can do that on his private mobile 7401961. You can also send any messages on our website at power102fm. Yeah. And um, Wicked Angel sent a message here. Wicked. Yeah. Should I read it? Is, uh, yes. Uh, the way she wrote it? Yeah. Of course, a juicy pussy is not a major problem, just means you're always ready. Mm. She's and coming from Wicked Angel. Yeah, Wicked Angel. We know that's true. Yeah, no, she's, no, no, she's not mm. easy at all. We know that's true. Yeah. Steve, she's a wetty corner there. Yeah. She have a mark right on that right hand side. You see, she had that little thing going around there. She left her mark right there. She even changed the shape of the table. It wasn't like that. It was wrong. She did. Wicked Angel did. Remember that little piece? That I know, I know. She's just sit right in the corner there. Yeah, yeah. So, she's inside. Mm. Steve is thinking about moving the table now. Well, that table has history, boy. That, that is history. Real Historical real history. table. Yeah. So, so I hope I cleared that clear that up because yes, yeah. aging process takes a lot out of an individual, mm -hmm. psychologically, physically, mentally, emotionally, and of course medically. You change as you age. Your body changes. Your plumbing, your indoor plumbing changes. Mm -hmm. The way you feel about sex or the sexual things that you enjoy changes as you age. So as you age, basically what happens is that you slow down a bit. I wouldn't use the word slow down. You. What happens is that you are more mature in your thinking and you don't approach things in a manner that you used to before. It's like a horny teenager. A horny teenager, have the, um, if given the opportunity to have sex, will rush into it. Yeah, right. That's fair to say. An older person who have had the experiences and whatnot will question why this person is rushing into it. Mm -hmm. Is there STD involved? Does she want to trap me? She hoping that she could have a child for me? We start thinking along those lines. Or is it that she likes me so much that she's really willing to do these things? And then you start using your experiences to determine whether she's genuine or not. Mm. You have to use that. You have to use your experience or your years of experience in doing things to figure out whether the person is genuine about what they're offering to you. Or is it a trap? Mm -hmm. are, are they taking you down a road that you regret? That you will regret. So that's where maturity comes in. So it's not a slower process. It's just that you are processing things. Mm. And sometimes it could be very fast. Are there any home remedies for women that have polycystic ovaries other than taking metformin? We have, we have a treatment and cure for that. So call the Adult Therapy Center at 645-4543 for that. We will treat polycystic ovaries. Dr. Raj, I'm always horny. What causes that? Hormones. Your hormone level will determine your horniness. Also, also, the things that you do, your physical activities. If you are highly charged in the physical activities or the things that you're doing, you are going to be sexually charged. Mm -hmm. Anyone who is involved in sports and whatnot will tell you that, that they have a high sex drive. And the high sex drive is natural. Now, there's some time that you need to boost that up by the things that you do. And again, being horny is one thing. Getting the satisfaction that you need. And I always say, when you're having sex, you F the brain. That is what you have to do, not the body. If you don't do that to the brain, the body is going to want more and more and more. Mm. 
So the sex has to be in the brain. That's what you're doing. Yeah, but the brain controls. I mean, well, right. But if controls. you don't satisfy the brain, how are you going to satisfy but the it, body? Exactly. Exactly. So you literally having sex with the mind of the individual. We can't use the word on air, but you literally f the brain. Mm -hmm. So that person get that level of satisfaction. So the horniness starts to the horniness wouldn't go away, but it's satiated. You know, there's a movie called Insatiable. You yes. ever saw that? No. Insatiable came out in 1977, I think. I wasn't born yet. Uh, Amberlynn, <laughs> I think, was in that. He wasn't born yet. <laughs> I think he died and resurrected. <laughs> I don't that think, was the second no, resurrection. I don't think my mother my, didn't meet my father at that yeah. time. Insatiable is a movie like that. Mm. What it takes to satisfy a woman, what it took to satisfy that character in the movie. She was insatiable. And the reason why she was insatiable is that the physical act was not enough. Mm. Oh, okay. The physical act is one thing. It's the other things that you do to the mind of the individual, where you take them. How you take them. But again, if the person don't know about those things, would she allow you to take you there? To take her there? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because she's not aware. There are some persons who are having sex, you know, but that's all they know. So it's boring. They just know sex. They don't know the other aspects that goes with it. There's no feeling in it. Well, it, it becomes routine. The sex becomes routine. It's a penis and a vagina, and that's it. And you kiss and you whatever. You make love for play, blah, blah, blah. Whether it lasts a minute, ten minutes, five minutes, five, an hour, two hours, five hours, doesn't matter. It's sex. But it's what is, says, what is said between both partners during the sex, the different things that you do, what you incorporate in the sexual act, and how far you take that person's mind. Now, remember, long ago, when we started this program and what that, we were talking about we were talking about planting the seed in your partner's mind right yes All right mm -hmm. planting the seed in your partner the partner's mind leads to great sex later on you know because that seed germinates and it grows mm. the idea it's a verbal idea at first yeah then it transforms into something that is physically there and then it grows and it deepens and the person gets more satisfaction from it. So when you're thinking that it is putting something out there and it's going to just remain there, it's not going to remain there. Mm -hmm. It's going to develop as time goes by. Interesting. Anyway, folks, taking over time, it's now 24 minutes after 10 o'clock. The Magic of Sex and Education, exclusively on Power 102 FM. With the only sexologist in the Caribbean, Dr. Raj Ramdanen of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center, which is located at St. Augustine. Just to remind you once again that our lines are open. If you would love to interact with Dr. Raj, feel free. 222-8255. Also at 612-8255. If you are sending in a WhatsApp or a text message, you can do that on his private mobile, 740-1961. You can also send any messages on our website at power102fm. May I remind you that this program may contain material that is not suitable for children. Parental guidance are therefore advised. <laughs> yeah. So someone is asking the question, so if you don't have a man, mm. if you don't have a man, it depends on your open-mindedness. Well, yeah, well, it, well, it all depends, yeah. You could be stuck in the rut of saying, I don't have a man, but I'm horny all the time. So what do I do? You suffer. That's all. If you don't have a man and you're horny and you're willing to take chances or you're willing to do certain things or you're open-minded enough to evolve, then it becomes satisfactory. Yeah, but then again, if you find yourself in a position like that and you don't have a man, you turn yourself to toys, right? You to could use to, toys. To get that satisfaction. You could use toys, but again... Would the toy satisfy the horniness? Because the horniness doesn't come from just the body. It comes from the mind. The physical act alone may not be satisfied. So yes, you could use a toy. You could use a number of toys. You could experiment with all kind of things. Venus butterfly, um, jackrabbit. And these are names of toys that are very popular that have been around since toys were invented. Mm -hmm. And you could use those things. 
You could use a dildo, you could use a vibrating dildo, you could use a double-headed dildo. You could use all those things. But if you're still thinking about what it takes to satisfy the mind, the physical part of you are satisfied, but the mind is not satisfied, so you remain horny. So you have to find the right part. I always tell persons, find the right partner to bring that out or to help you with that. That is where sex therapy comes in. In sex therapy, you deal with that. You deal with the mind. You deal with what the individual really needs. Mm -hmm. Some person think that they just need sex to get over that horniness or to deal with that horniness, you know. But it's not that. It may be something much deeper than that. The willingness mm -hmm. to experiment, but not everyone is willing to experiment. The willingness to open up your mind to different avenues of things that are sexual, but not everyone is open to that. So you will know your limitations also. But in sex therapy also, you will tell the person of different scenarios. Yeah. You'll get them involved mentally in different scenarios and see what brings about a level of satisfaction. And you can tell them, well, you need to go down this road. That's what sex therapy is all about. Sex therapy is not only the physical act of sex um, engaging in things of a sexual nature. You know. Sex therapy is getting more involved in that verbal aspect of the individual and understanding exactly what he or she needs. And take him down a path or guiding him down a path for they to do certain things. Mm. That's why couple sex therapy is much better because, but one of the things I've found a lot of times is that in couple sex therapy, both partners not on the same page. They're not in the same book. Mm -hmm. They're on two different levels altogether. They're two different levels altogether and I'll give you a very good example. Husband wants to see wife have sex with another man. Wife wants to do it, but not to the satisfaction of the husband, but to her satisfaction. Oh, so it's the a husband has restrictions. It's a bit selfishness going on there. Well, yeah, of course, but he has he has placed restrictions, and oh. she's not willing to abide by those restrictions because she wants much more. Mm. What happens here? You're going to get a conflict. That same guy who was open to the whole idea of this happening will not be so open anymore. No, he wouldn't. All right. But here, as a matter of fact, so you see where the challenges yeah. lie. As a matter of fact, he might put himself in the position where, hey, look, she wants to have this thing with somebody else, or, no? or she wants to have a relationship. No, with well, somebody. he's willing for it to happen with somebody else, but mm. not with the restrictions that he has placed. Mm. So they're not on the same page. No, they're, they're in the same book. Two different levels. No, no, no. no. They're in the same book because they both want the same thing, but one wants it at in a particular way, and the other one wants it a little more than that. Where's your copy? Mm -hmm. Right. Anyway, folks, taking your time, 26 minutes after 10 o'clock, the magic of sex education, exclusively on Power 102 FM, with the guru of sex education, Dr. Raj Ramanen, of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center. Don't forget, all lines are open. If you would love to interact with him via the telephone, feel free, 222-8255. Also at 612-8255. You are listening to a program that deals with sex, love, and relationships exclusively on Power 102 FM. Let me tell you when it's not at the same level. Husband and wife again. Husband wants a threesome. Wife wants a threesome. Husband wants a threesome with her and another woman. She wants to do it with two men. Yeah, but two different yeah. levels. Mm -hmm. yeah, that that is, is when it becomes two yeah, different levels. That is true. And Tixar says, yes, she's, well, I guess she's speaking about herself. She said she's fed up with boring sex. Yeah. Boring sex is boring. Mm. There's no excitement to the mind. There's no excitement to the psyche. It's boring. Yeah. And you know, as one, as one of the individuals... But what is your you idea of boring sex? Steve, what is your idea of boring sex? <laughs> the person sleeping. This is how you do it. Honey, you wake up. Wake up. Okay, we have um, three elbows. Have, three elbows. Okay, we have. Okay, let's let's go with this caller here. Yeah, let's go. Hello and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. When you have low testosterone, you'll have lost your sex life. Your libido is going to drop. Testosterone is what makes you a man and it is what drives you sexually. And if your level of testosterone doesn't sustain your libido, 
it's going to drop so you don't feel for sex. Testosterone is very important not only for, for sex, you know. It's important for the functioning of all your organs in your body, especially your heart, your liver, your, your kidney, and your brain. If your level of testosterone is dropping, you think your body is going to send more testosterone to your penis, or, your, or you're going to utilize more testosterone in your penis, or your brain, or your liver, or your kidney, or your heart. Don't you need those to survive? We go into a survival mode and it forgets about the sex part of, your, of you. Sex is not necessary for survival, you know. Your brain function is necessary for survival. So your lowering of your testosterone level takes away from your sex drive. Your libido drops first. The body drops the libido because it doesn't want you to feel horny and utilize your hormones in that way. For sex, it wants you to utilize your hormones for the proper functioning of the other parts of your body. But tell me something, Doctor. Is there anything that you can take or, or, or what could you do to re, 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 rejuvenate that, that, that part of it? We treat low testosterone at the clinic every single day. I didn't hear that, sorry. I say we treat low testosterone levels at the clinic every day. That's my job. That's my profession. How old are you? 40. 40. Well, you're, you're, you're prime can, candidate for that. Now, low testosterone is also called andropause. Men go through andropause in their late 30s. But unfortunately in Trinidad, I have seen guys in their 20s with low testosterone, with andropause, all the symptoms of andropause. And when you have andropause, what happens to you is that when you wake up in the morning, you wake up, but you don't want to get off the bed because there's nothing challenging enough to get you off the bed. You lose your competitive edge. You're tired. You're listless. You don't feel for sex. Your libido has dropped. Your erection, your morning erection goes. Once you lose your morning erection, and there's no such thing as a pee stand. Because if there's something called a pee stand, it means every time you want to pee, you'll have a stand. There is no such thing as a pee stand. A morning erection is an indication of your testosterone level. If you don't get morning erection, if, it's, if it cuts down from the amount of morning erections you used to get before, it means your testosterone level is dropping. So as you age, your testosterone level goes down. Is there anything that causes it to be dropping? Of course, aging, lack of ex exercise, not getting enough sleep, poor diet, not engaging in enough sex. That, those are the things that could drop your testosterone. Okay. Thank you very, very much. You're welcome. Most of the time, if you don't get six to eight hours of solid night rest, and I'm talking about night rest, yeah. your testosterone levels are depleting. You use up testosterone to stay awake. That's what I tell you. Testosterone is very important. If, if you as a young man have high levels of testosterone, you never notice your teenage son and thing, they can stay up whole night, and yeah. next day they, they, they're good as no, they normal. No, they you fresh. try doing that. Eh? They're fresh like fruit. They're fresh. At our age, we can't do that because our testosterone is used up the next day, you're feeling listless, tired. You're like, oh, God, I'll never do that again. You're begging God to get put you through the day. That's because of your testosterone level, right? As you age, you lose 1% of your testosterone every year. If you start off with low testosterone in the beginning, also low testosterone also um, boils down to underdevelopment of your penis. Some men are underdeveloped. Meaning in terms of size, whether it be thickness or length, yeah. it doesn't matter. What causes that? You will never had the levels of testosterone you're supposed to have earlier. So when you get older, you reach that in your late 30s, 38, your body stops producing growth hormones and whatnot. Your testosterone level starts to drop rapidly. You're not getting enough sleep. You're contributing to it dropping more. You're not exercising. It's dropping further. You have high cholesterol. It's dropping further. Cholesterol drops the testosterone. Mm. So all these factors causes your testosterone level to drop as a man. And you think that if you get, if you build back up your bad cholesterol, it's not going to raise testosterone. You have to take treatment for raising testosterone. That's what we do at the Adult Therapy Center every single day. And there's about, there are about five different ways to treat low testosterone. It's called low T. Tablets will not raise testosterone, so don't be fooled by it. Tablets alone cannot raise testosterone. You cannot yes. ingest anything to raise testosterone. Yes. Huh? 
Oysters is good, but it does not raise testosterone. And that's where the problem comes in. Food does not raise testosterone. It maintains testosterone. Mm. So persons eating nuts, they'll tell you they're good for the back. It's yeah. not good for the back. It's only good for the back if you have good levels of testosterone. It maintain it. Watermelon. Just as Steve said, oysters. Watermelon. Almond nuts. Not all kind of nuts. Almond nuts only. Salmon fish. Avocados. Celery. Asparagus. And I'm missing one thing there. Popoy? No, no, no. Not popoy. I'm missing one thing there. I'll remember it when I go. No, not can no, 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 no fruit like that. It's not a fruit. Something I'm missing. So anything that if you, which you what have you ever watched a, a asparagus stalk? It looks like a penis. That's what it's for. It's shaped like a penis. It has everything like a penis. Watch the head of the asparagus. Celery stalk. Oysters? No, what oysters does? Uh, did I say salmon fish? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What oysters does? The high levels of the zinc in it helps you, but it doesn't help you right away. So guys who think that they're going to drink our oysters tonight, they go and put down work tonight. It doesn't work yeah. that way. It has to people. be digest. A punch. A punch. Put thing in the back. Yeah, a, pu a punch. A punch is one of the favorite ones. Um. So the punch is no longer in circulation. No, anymore. there's a place <laughs> in uh, drink. for a punch drink. I don't say they're going for, for a different type. Seymour Sun, this Sun, Lindsay Doyle yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and all kind of thing. Oh, yeah. You cannot ingest something and it's going to work right. You see, psychologically, the guy go and drink oyster and he say, ah boy, I'm going to put on work. But that is psycholo That is what they call a placebo effect. I could give you a tablet. And I know one guy who does this. He just tell people, I have the best thing to give you erection in the world. He'll give you two, two ca caffeine or a, a, a panadol or something. Placebo effect. Some guy will come back and tell me, the best thing ever where I could get more of that. No, no, no. I can't, I can't sell you that. But he gives them nothing. Sugar tablet. When they do an experiment, they give you a sugar tablet to take. I mean, the tablet is made out of sugar. Yeah. Right? Now, I'm not talking about diabetes tablet. I'm talking about sugar. Because when they're testing people, they don't tell them what they're giving them. It looks exactly like the tablet that they're giving you to take, and they give Steve a, a sugar tablet. And they ask you, what are the... So, but if you know the effects of the tablet, you'll say, well, I'm feeling this and I'm feeling that. But that's called a placebo effect. It's the same thing with using oysters tonight to go and put on work tonight. Mm -hmm. Drinking punch tonight to go and put on work tonight. A good cow heel soup. Yeah, boy. Or souls. Oh, heal. Those things will work, but not tonight. It's like a boxer. A boxer can't go any dashing and fight tonight. It's going to rest in the stomach. He's not going to digest it. Now, dashing will give him energy because it's complex carbohydrate. But it'll give him complex. It will give him that when? Two days down the line. Mm -hmm. So why feel they don't give a, a boxer dashing before you go and fight? And they'll give him glucose? They they'll give, give him something for instant energy. Because you want instant energy and you want something that will work. So no boxer is going to eat a steak and go and fight, except Roberto Duran. Because he wanted to lose. He ate a steak before he go and fight him. You know that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Because he didn't care. If he lost, he had a million dollars in the bank. Six million dollars in the bank. No mass. I don't. My money in the bank. Let me go. But no boxer, no athlete will do that. That's why they tell athletes, don't have sex. Certain athletes don't have sex before the event. Because it depletes your testosterone. Testosterone is what you need to run fast. Mm. Well, that's an advice that they give to all boxers in the playoffs. Because yeah? you need testosterone to fight. Yeah. Testosterone makes you aggressive. It's what makes a man a man. So you can't tell a man, go and deplete your, testo your testosterone by having sex and go and fight. You're going to be docile like hell mm -hmm. or tired. Next thing you know, you have a refractory period like you. Two, three days a month after you can't have sex. <laughs> no, no, in a position like that. He can't go three wrong. He can't even go one wrong. He can't go wrong, one wrong. So if you, you have to understand the workings of the testosterone in a man. The older you get... Mm -hmm. The more testosterone, the more testosterone you need for all the functions of your body parts. Far less for your sexual part. And like I have always said, your sexual being is your alarm system that God gives you. It's the first thing to go bad. Because it's telling you that other things are going bad. A man, ask any man prior to a heart attack if he could have got an erection. If they remember so far back, they'll tell you no way, you know, that, that went. It's the alarm. It's the alarm system in your body. So your sexual system is going to drop first before everything else because it's going to indicate that something else is going wrong. Hmm. Anyway, folks, taking over 10, 20 minutes before 11 o'clock, you are making radio an experience by itself when you are on the inside of Sex Explosion on Power 102 FM. 
The only sex knowledge is in the Caribbean, Dr. Ranch Randonen of Total Imaging, the Adult Therapy Center. Don't forget, folks, our lines are open. If you would love to interact with Dr. Raj via the telephone, feel free, 222-8255, also at 612-8255. If you are sending in a WhatsApp or a text message, you can also do that on his private mobile, 740-1961. You can also send in messages on our website at power102fm. You are listening to... Trinidad and Tobago number one all around the station when it comes to talk and music. Yeah. Dr. Raj, what causes your pussy to be jumping so? Sex. What you need. If you're horny and your pussy jumping all the time, you need sex. Well, yeah, I mean, that's a Bottom thing. line. Someone says, um, E-O-Y-L-I-E. Steve. I have a vested interest tonight. I'm watching him in his short pants. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, do some other lady. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Walk on the ramp. Walk on the black yeah, yeah. carpet. Black <laughs> ramp. <laughs> oh, boy. No, 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 see, no, this is a direct thing, eh? She didn't say he looking good. <coughs> no, this he have on her short pants. <laughs> so is that a, a, a sexual rim? I think she taking it to a different realm. Maybe no, she, she could have said something like, yeah, you know, yeah, you have yeah, a yeah. beautiful T-shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but she went to... She, she make sure she see the short pants. Yeah, she looking for something to peep out from me leg. Like, yeah, she went straight <laughs> to the shorts. Steve, boy? Why <laughs> Fans. <laughs> Fanatics, you know. I ooze. You ooze sex appeal. <laughs> <laughs> you, hear, you hear family breaks in already? Uh, he cool. <laughs> he says ooze, boy. You ooze in oh, sex oh, appeal. Can building sex self-confidence lead a person to become voyeuristic? How do you curb the desire to be... Self-confidence has nothing to do with voyeurism. Okay. voyeurism. We have a call on the line. Hello and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. Afternoon, good night. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I want to say that Mr. Raj is doing a very wonderful program. Last few weeks I hear you were talking about religion. And I want to tell him that he is not religion. Less than religion. He is in faith. I am not saying that I am sick, but we have to say that in a blessed state. Why I said that? It has to be saved in the Hindu faith. It's for spirit. Well, I should say everything. Right? The, um, the China, the, the money, the corn, the food money, for spirit days, the, the sick days, the way they do for the friends, the other day, it's food. Right? So I want to say it's been a very good program. And I want to say he's a blessed man. I would like him to I would like to tell him that let him stay in his religion. Because we are not living. I ain't going nowhere, bread, 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 bread. Stop right there, stop right there. I nothing could convert me, you know. Because in my in my belief system, it teaches everything, even sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In every like, possible way. And I use I use my teaching to give my knowledge to people out there because everything is explained in hinduism everything all right thank you continue about the hindu religion and this morning i didn't put on this morning and i hear that i kind of have two communities uh to be sure i believe in the bank of the town you remember right i i i saw two going on the road yeah all three was from grandy all three was from Grandy. Well, I saw two. Well, we live uh, in Kozo side. That is about a mile before Grandy. Yeah, that's why Mr. Sinanan. I, I saw two early this morning. One about seven, one about seven. Then it's about um, half past nine going to ten o'clock. Yeah. But I like to want to say two. In the Hindu faith, like on the Christian faith, right, you will see, but sometimes you were talking about this too. Right, you will see that. The, the game flowers to the dead, right, in the Hindu faith. Natural flowers, which is very good. But in the Christian faith, they do so and they give artificial flowers. But which is the better one? Not the natural flower we go on with? Let me don't go down that road then. Hello? Well, it's in a very set up there. All right, thank you. Well, thanks a lot for calling, picking over time to 16 minutes before 11 o'clock. Sex Explosion on this Friday evening with the only sexologist in the Caribbean, Dr. Raj Ramanen of Total Image.
and the adult therapy center. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back with you. Stay tuned. <laughs> Before you act, think twice, think twice, think clean, go green, for environmental awareness. Power 102 FM and Boom 94 FM continue to champion responsible action for life, safety, and now, a cleaner environment. Our planet is what we make of it, so let's make the right choices. The choice to reduce, to reuse, to recycle, to conserve, to preserve, to responsibly dispose, and to be more mindful of how we impact the world around us, for this generation and those still to come. Join us for daily tips on how you can get involved at home, at work, and in your communities. Encourage your neighbors, colleagues, and Junior. family as well. Help change the culture of their behaviors. Yeah. Yeah. Cleaner, yeah. More environmentally conscious I'm appropriately. Think twice. Think twice. For environmental awareness. Brought to you by Swim Coal, the Trinidad and Tobago Solid Waste Management Company Limited. Power 102 FM and Boom 94 in association with the Gillette Group of Companies. Bush Mountain TT, Solo Enterprises, the Trinidad and Tobago Police Credit Union and the Price Club Supermarket. Think twice. Think twice for a cleaner, greener Trinidad and Tobago. Sexplosion is on Power 102. And now on new days and at new times, the country's most informative sex education program, Sexplosion, is on every Thursday from 7 to 9 p.m. and Fridays from 9 p.m. to midnight with Dr. Raj Ramanan, the guru of sex in the Caribbean. A lot of times you think that sex is totally below the waist. It is not below the waist. It starts in the brain. The largest sex organ that you possess is your brain. Tune in for discussion on all sexual matters. Sexplosion on Power 102. In Power you. I want to continue that when it comes to nighttime radio, we are always one step ahead with a beautiful blend of education. You are listening to Sex Explosion on Power 102 FM with sexologist Dr. Raj Ramanan of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center at St. Augustine, where he do treat all sexual dysfunctions in both male and female. Don't forget our lines are open if you would love to interact with him via the telephone, feel free. 222-8255, also at 612-8255. If you are or if you do decide that you want to send him a WhatsApp or a text message, that can also be done on his private mobile, 740-1961. Yeah. So let's get back to um, sex therapy. And to answer the person's question about being voyeuristic, yeah. it has, it, it's, not, it's not just self-confidence that will make you voyeuristic, because you could be a peeping dog and be, a, and be voyeuristic. You could um, ask to indulge in voyeurism. Or you could just, voyeur, voyeur, voyeurism is also looking at things mm -hmm. of a sexual nature on television, you know. Yeah. Yeah, with all participating. There are persons who love looking at movies. There are persons who like um, viewing candid stuff. Um, there are persons who go on live stream and view that. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to have self-confidence to do that. You could sit down in a room and do that. Wow. That's why live stream and those things that people, they, they are sexual sites that you yeah. could go on and watch people having sex all the time, you know. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is pay the subscription and you do it. Mm, okay. And they'll, you'll, get a, you'll get a buzz when the persons are going to do things or sometimes they have a camera in a room or there are persons who have their cams in, in toilets and all those things. That's voyeurism also. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to have self-confidence to do that. You just have to have the ability to mm -hmm. find it yes. and to do yeah. it. Mm -hmm. That's um, interesting. But getting back to the sex therapy part of it, as I was saying before, dealing with things of a sexual nature and dealing with sex therapy is something that helps to enhance an individual performance. Mm. Sex therapy is not about the therapist. You know. Sex therapy is about the person who is coming for the therapy and getting the help that he or she needs mm. or they need. Okay. It is doing... Whew, I think we'll never... Yeah. Yeah, but that is, that is um is that chemical? Yeah. Ooh. I get I'm getting it in my nose. 
Yeah. It, yeah, so. mm. yeah, it is finding out. Okay, for example, what this person was sending here, we've been horny and um, pussy jumping and all these kind of things, being wet all the time and whatnot. It is a lack of sex, but not mm -hmm. in the true sense of just going out and having sex. Because any two fools could have sex. Well, any yeah. two person mm -hmm. could have sex. Sex is a penis in a vagina or if it's a same-sex relationship, a vagina and a vagina or, or, or a dildo in between the two vag vagina or a, a penis and a anus or whatever, that, that is sex. Mm -hmm. But it's the fulfillment of what is internal. Yeah, that is what sex therapy does. Bring out that part of it. Mm. Yeah, that's interesting. Anyway, folks, taking over 10, 10 minutes before 11 o'clock, I tell you, nobody does better what we do best when it comes to sex education. Every Thursday and Friday, right here on Power 102 FM, with the only sexologist in the Caribbean, Dr. Raj Brandon, of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center. Still got a couple of minutes in which you can interact with Dr. Raj in studio here with me. 222-8255, also at 612-8255. Nobody does better what we do best when it comes to sex education. Yeah. Like, I will tell you, please, I enjoy a bit of voyeurism, but my <clears throat> voyeurism is photographs and, and, and movies. Mm, photographs but and movies. Not, not movies that are produced and, and done in a studio and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Self movies, like what you call selfies or self movies, okay. or movies mm -hmm. involving local thing and persons doing stuff. Yeah, okay. I enjoy oh, 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 I enjoy okay, receiving yeah. that. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of that. Mm -hmm. It's something that I enjoy. I, same thing with photographs. I love photographs. But I like real photographs. I don't like mm -hmm. person sharing things that are old or sharing things that is not them mm -hmm. and one thing i you know what is does get me real pissed off now i can tell you what we're dealing with facebook we deal with we're overall things over like someone sends you a friend request and they have a drawing now well i do accept that thing of some no i don't accept that thing i don't accept that no what pisses me off in my line of work we deal with beauty and sexuality and whatnot. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. So if somebody asks me for a job, send me a picture. That's one of the things I require. But when a person comes in front of you, it's not a picture that they send you. People are filtering pictures. They're creating, they're creating a you that is not you. Mm -hmm. This is the natural me. I don't need to put on makeup. I don't need to put a filter. I don't need to do anything like that. Accept me for who I am. But there are lots of women out there, and I think 90% of the women out there that you find on Facebook and what are putting up their pictures, it's not them. When you see them in real, you know what I just ask them? Where's the person in the picture? But that is me, though. This is not you. This is not you. What I'm seeing in front of me is you. And this you looks nothing like you here. So who are you trying to fool? Yeah, yeah. I noticed that, uh, I noticed that as well. You know, when you go into... First thing they do the, the is they make themselves clearer. Why, you, you're afraid of being dark? What's mm -hmm. wrong with your skin tone? What's wrong with being darker? Or as my, my brother-in-law would say, Sapo de la Brown. What's wrong with that? Mm -hmm. What's wrong with your color? First thing you do is you lighten your color in your picture. And I see it all the time. So it means to say you don't, you have no self-esteem. Yeah, uh, because you cannot present yourself in a photograph how you look. It shows that you don't appreciate yourself. Exactly. That's my point. You don't like yourself. Anytime you can do that to yourself, lighten yeah. your skin tone, filter out everything, make your skin look perfect, take out all the blemish from your skin. Mm -hmm. You can't even see a button on the person saying, when, when you meet up with them, they face they first chucky, chucky, chucky. Yeah. So you're asking them, where is this person? Well, that's me. No, that's not you. Look, look, look at how your, all the blemishes. And, where, where is it here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not that the blemishes is wrong, but yeah. this is the real you. Why aren't you proud of yourself? Yeah. No self-confidence. No, your beauty, you have, you have no. to have the beauty. No self-confidence. Portray your true beauty. Today I got, a, I got about five different photographs from someone. So we meet different individuals who are interested in our job and whatnot. And I told them, the only person I'm interested in is the first photograph. And when the person asked me why, I said, because that one is real. The other, the other four photographs is, is not. Mm -hmm. The other four yeah, photographs are filtered photographs. Mm -hmm. And I'm a photographer. 
I know. Mm -hmm. I I live with a camera. But the thing about it, why go through something like that when you know eventually you will have to come face Junior, to face Junior, when I was person. going to school, high school, I walked with a camera every single day in my bag. Yeah. Mm. So much so, my first camera was an Olympus. Yes, I remember the Olympus. Olympus. Olympus 135. Yeah. I never use 126 and I never use a 110 camera. Mm -hmm. I always use a 135 mm. And my aunt sent me a Yashica FX2 camera. Mm -hmm. One of the best cameras I ever owned, but it was very heavy. Very, very heavy. Until I got my hands on a Nikon. Mm. And I never left Nikon after that. Nikon FG, I think the FG was the first one I owned. But I live with a camera in my hand all my life. So when somebody sent me a filtered photograph, I just look at it and I say, You can tell off the bat anyhow. Yeah. I, I, I'm not looking at that. That doesn't, that doesn't nothing for me. How do you feel taking your time? Five minutes before 11 o'clock. I tell you, this is what it's all about. Sex explosion on Power 102 FM on a Friday. With the only sexologist in the Caribbean, Dr. Raj Ramanen of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center, which is located at St. Augustine. Feel free. Still got a yes, couple of minutes in which you can interact us. with Dr. Raj. Two 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 eight two five five. Also at six one two eight two five five. Yeah. So when person does that, it tells you something about their self esteem. It also that you, a person don't realize. For any time you contact someone by WhatsApp concerning yeah. a job, or Facebook concerning a job, your interview starts. In. Mm -hmm. They don't realize that you know. Your interview has started. The minute you make contact. Yeah. It's like somebody made contact with me for a job, Princess Town, right? Talking to me on Facebook and on WhatsApp and asking me when I go to the store who to ask for. And I told her to come and have an interview with me. Mm. That's one person again hired already. Of course. It tells me you don't have brain. No. No. <laughs> if you're chatting with me, I am Dr. Raj and you're going to Dr. Raj Adol Boutique. To meet me, you're asking who you're going to meet? Mm -hmm. Something wrong with you. So your interview starts for any time you contact by Facebook or by WhatsApp. Any businessman will tell you that. And when I watch your profile photograph, I'll say, send me a photograph. Now, if you send me back the same photograph, i say, not that one. Send me a photograph now. And half the time, you don't match. i say, where's this person? This person that in your profile. Where's that person? It tells me something about your self-esteem. It tells me something about you. That's the psychology of it. That's understanding human behavior and human nature and how a person, what they think about themselves. Yes. No the ones confidence. who are successful is the one, <clears throat> are the ones who, they're not ashamed of how they look. Okay, we have a call on the line. Hello and welcome to Sex Explosion. Oh, that person left us. But yeah. if you ask any businessman with his soul who hires people, mm -hmm. they will tell you that. They look at those things. It's like somebody doing an interview and they say, do you have a Facebook account? Yes. What's your Facebook thing? While in the interview, you pull up their, their Facebook account and you see they're cussing this one and cussing. You feel like I had a person? No one of course. No. no. There's no way. And there are persons who do that, you know. Mm -hmm. So while you're doing the interview, you're looking through their profile and, you see, and you're watching the comments they're making and what that. Well, my neighbor so and so, he mother so and so. Yeah. You will ever hire a person like that? So People portray their sexuality in many different ways. You know? They portray who they are in many different ways. So when you look at that and you read it and you decipher the individual, it is not what they're presenting because when they're presenting, they're looking for a job, so they're trying to fool you as much as they could. You know? well, of course they That's like padding your resume. Mm. Padding your resume. And if you look under the Facebook profile, you'll see they tell you that they look at so-and-so across the crowd where they put some kind of dirty snip. But in their resume, they want to put something fancy. So it's between Krusty Krab and something real fancy. Ministry of Education. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what they love to put? I'm studying at UWE. Mm. They love to put that. And they did a course at UWE or a course that UWE held that has nothing to do with academics. But I've studied at UWE. Mm. I tell you. Anyway, folks, taking over time, two minutes before 11 o'clock, I tell you, 
Just for those of you who are listening to Sex Explosion for the very first time, may I remind you that Sex Explosion is featured here on Power 102 FM every Thursday and Friday evening with the only sexologist in the Caribbean, Dr. Raj Ramanan of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center. He comes in, sits here, and um, listen to all your problems, all the things that you're going through sexually that um, you need to get answers to. And it's happening right here on Power 102 FM. Yeah. Leslie Ann says, I'm real. Celia says, Hi, Dr. Raj and Juna. I do not wear makeup. I love being me. Mm -hmm. Indra says, true. Excellent. Yeah, that's the way to go. But I see a lot of people trying to well, put it up at defense. Well, I wouldn't use the word defense, but saying that they like how they look and their picture resembles them. But I know that. Mm -hmm. I know who is real and who is not real. Mm -hmm. There are persons who, in their profile, will tell you certain things. And as I say, when you see them, you ask them, where is that person? And there are persons in the profile put up, and they, they not for hell, they come in here you to, for you to see them, you know. Mm -hmm. Because they know but, yeah, exactly. that is not what they are. They just it's the same thing with qualification. Mm -hmm. So that's why I tell you, when persons present, present themselves sexually, mm -hmm. most men, most men, in the majority, the majority of men out there will tell a woman things that they want to tell them or they think that they, will, they need to hear to get them to go to bed. Mm -hmm. Right? And they may not be able to perform the way they're saying that they were able to perform. Simply because it's a facade. It's a show. It is as much as I could do to get you. It's, it's yeah. what we do. We are hunters. And most of the times they come up short. Very, very short. Well, I wouldn't know about that, Junior. Like no, you had it. Uh, oh, no, no, something, I'm, something, I'm asking. There was something I saw highlights <laughs> on the TV last night. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and they say there were, so, there were lots of shortcoming. Yeah, they, they, they came up very, very short. Oh. So your partner is not satisfied at all. So in a case like that, it's not good. No, it's not good. It can't be good. No. That is where horn comes in. Horn? Yeah. Because if you're not satisfying your partner, he or she have to look for satisfaction elsewhere. Well, yes. If, if the relationship is not strong enough. Mm -hmm. If the person feel that they have to step out of the relationship, they will step out of the relationship. Well, tell me what we are going to do is go back to the lines. Hello and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. This is to seven for um, What does make a man for short fun time? The first time you have sex with one, I mean the first time you have sex with a woman and Come that's premature ejaculation and that comes about because of a weak PC muscle. If the muscle that controls your ejaculation is not strong enough, you are going to ejaculate quickly. So we teach men how to do that at the Adult Therapy Center. There's a program to control your PC muscle, first of all to locate it. The PC muscle is the pubic or sigil muscle. It controls from your penis to your anus and everything in between. <laughs> yeah, well, if you don't have full control over the PC muscle, you're going to ejaculate quickly, you know. Now, full control means how long do you last? What's the maximum time you would last? Well, I guess it is your minor. The minor is controlled over everything. Your mind is your largest sex organ, yes, but you didn't answer my question. What's the longest you last when you have an intercourse? All right, and how often does that happen? Daisy doesn't answer the question. How often do you last a half an hour to an hour when you have an intercourse? So your average time in having intercourse is less than 15 minutes? Right. Well, that's premature ejaculation. That's the definition of premature ejaculation. Not because you have control sometimes means you have control. Having control is you discharging when you need to discharge and not before. So once you're feeling dissatisfied with your action, once you're feeling dissatisfied or you 
feel as though you have not given your partner the full benefits of, of the things that you could do, that's a premature ejaculation. Thank you. Well, thanks a lot for calling. It's Explosion on Power 102 FM, 2228255, also at 6128255, with the only sex knowledges in the Caribbean, Dr. Raj Randanen, of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center. Yeah. <clears throat> so what it takes is, the, and the guy is right, eh? Your mind will control you. But if you have control less mm -hmm. than the automatic way of discharging quickly, yeah. you don't have control. Mm. You really don't have control. And the excuses that some men made that your vagina too sweet yeah. and girl, I can't handle it. Like those are excuses. Mm -hmm. What you need to do is you control your penetration, your depth of penetration, angle of penetration, what you do, what happens to you psychologically yeah. while having sex, and, and I mean mentally. And that's where you control it. Mm -hmm. And make sure that your partner is always fully satisfied. Well, like I say before, and I'll say it again, you don't make a woman come. You are sister mm -hmm. in coming. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what you do. So whatever it takes to assist her with that, whether it be um, the foreplay that you go on before, which is digital penetration, oral penetration, oral stimulation of the vagina or the clitoris, it depends on what the person enjoys. Yes, but the, the, the best thing do in a position like that, especially if you know that you would not go for a long period of time. I mean, you're going to go oral. Yeah, that's foreplay. That's um, but that's killing the clock. Again, what is your repertoire when it comes to foreplay? Mm -hmm. What do you do when it comes to foreplay and how much knowledge you have in that? And also, not knowledge in only performing foreplay, but knowledge of your partner or what she likes. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You got, you got to know the grounds that you're batting on. Correct, <laughs> correct. And why were you in a cricket scenario? You, you realize <laughs> no, you woke up starting next week? Oh. No, because I know you, no, because I know you like that. Eh? So no, well, if you bring it in that cricket scenario, that's the best thing. That's yeah, why men yeah. just go out and watch the pitch. Mm -hmm. yeah. So know if yeah. the bat first or not the bat first. So know if you could take spin or not. Right. Mm. Okay. Texas is saying, I want to experience a girl sucking my private. Am I not a lesbian? No. Is something wrong with me for no. wanting to experience Being something Being like bi-curious does not make you bisexual. Mm. If you're thinking, if you're a woman, and you're thinking about another woman performing oral sex on you, that is just being bi-curious. You're yeah. curious about it. Mm -hmm. If you actually have the experience of a woman performing oral sex on you, you are bisexual. You have crossed the realm of being bi, bi curious. You have crossed the realm of being straight. You have done a bisexual act. Now, if you continue to do it, you are full fledged bisexual. It means to say you enjoy being bisexual. If you have only had the experience of bisexuality, it doesn't take away from the fact that you were bisexual once. Mm, okay. Right? Yeah. But it doesn't make you bisexual. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't make you lesbian either. Yeah. If you continue to have sex with both partners, male and female, you are bisexual. If you decide to give up the male and continue with female and female only, he's a lesbian. You either converted or somebody convert you. Mm -hmm. Anyway, for taking your time, nine minutes after eleven o'clock. I tell you, this is what it's all about. Sex explosion on Power One Two FM with sexologist Dr. Raj Vandenen of Total Image. And the Adult Therapy Center, which is located at St. Augustine, 2228255, also at 6128255. For those of you who would love to interact with Dr. Raj live here in studio, I tell you, nobody does better what we do best when it comes to sex education. Yeah. You know, there's a train of thought that everyone is born bisexual. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to go back here to the lines. Let's see. Hello and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. So, I'm wondering how I'm in the majority of times, others. 
Yeah, we, we've been there, we, we went through that already and we're done with that. We explain all that and even when you hang up, I continue with it. So you're supposed to understand it from there. It's up to you whether you want to learn to control it or not. You know, nobody putting a gun to your head and say, you have to learn to control it, you know. If you are satisfied, if you are satisfied with whatever you're doing, right? If you are satisfied with whatever you're doing, and you could live with that by all means, go ahead and do so. But you are the one who call and say that you have premature ejaculation. I did not say that. You did. I just premature ejaculation. No, no. I just see that with me. You are not telling me how to Yeah, we understand where you're coming from. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see here now. Okay, Pixar says okay. So I think she understands exactly what you explained to her. As far Just as, as in spirituality, they tell mm. you that inside every man there's a woman. Yeah. And inside every woman there's a man. Mm -hmm. That is bisexuality. Mm. It is what you feed. Just as how you feel being calm or having a lot of anger. It's yeah. what you feed. Mm -hmm. There are some persons who are homophobic, so they push that aside and they say that has nothing to do with me. When the truth of the matter is, in a, from a psychological point of view, you are that way. Mm -hmm. It is what you feed. Mm -hmm. If you're open-minded enough to go down that path, to read about it and be quite curious, you're feeding that. But some persons go their entire life by just being by curious and never mm. step beyond the boundary. Mm. They never cross the line. It is their choice. You have free will. As a human being, you have free will and you have choices to make in life. The choices you make will determine who you are. Well, of course, no, yes. And that's why I tell people, uh, persons, you are not forced to do anything. No, you do every, anything you on do your own all the things that you want to do mm -hmm. and be true to yourself man know thyself and man be true to thyself that's what you have to do mm -hmm. i tell you how truthful are you mm -hmm. to yourself anyway folks taking over time 12 minutes after 11 o'clock you are on the inside of sex explosion on this friday night with sexologist Dr. Marge Ramlinan of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center. Just to remind you once again that our lines are open if you would love to interact with him via the telephone. You know, some of us go through life, we have sexual problems, and we don't have a forum to explain ourselves. Well, I can tell you, this is the place to be. Anything that you might have on your mind, sexual, that might be bothering you and you need to get answers to, Feel free, you can give Dr. Raj a call right here in studio presently, 222-8255, also at 612-8255. If you are a bit shy and would like to send him your message privately, you can also do that on his private mobile, 7401961. This program may contain material that is not suitable for children. Parental guidance are therefore advised. And the thick sauce give us a smile. How oh, sweet. Mm -hmm. You know many times on an interview prior to sex therapy, persons will tell you certain things. Mm -hmm. And you'll make notations of what they tell you. Because you can't remember everything. And in the actual ter therapy itself, you'll realize that half the things that they've told you is not consistent with the behavior that mm -hmm. they are showing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Mm -hmm. When, if I do an interview with you, and anybody who does interviews and interrogation and whatnot will tell you this, there are a number of factors that will cause a person to behave in a particular way. Mm -hmm. The fear factor will cause you to say things that you're not supposed to say or you, or, or, or you put it in a different way. But when you get down to the actual sex therapy and the person is more comfortable, you see the true nature of the individual. Mm. That's why sometimes in a pressure situation, you react one day, one, one way. 
Yeah. And that very same situation presented to you, and you're not in a pressure situation, you react differently. differently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, like, yeah. I can, I can see that too. Yes. Mm. I agree. Well, folks, taking with time 15 minutes after 11 o'clock. Sex Explosion on Power 102 FM. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back with you. Stay tuned. <laughs> How long that would that would, would that last after you cook it and put it in them containers? According to all official estimates, both are we? local and international, so you have to make use of that. Economy has turned around and is on a positive growth path. The government says the economy is on the rebound, but some business and professional leaders say there's no visible trickle down. In a Power 102 poll, a majority of respondents said they don't anticipate any real improvement in their quality of life. Next in focus, the state of the economy in light of the midterm budget review. Do you believe that Trinidad and Tobago economy has turned the corner? People are investing and they're spending money in this country. Credit has increased by seven million dollars over the last three years. Has there been discernible growth for small businesses? How many jobs have been created? How many again, jobs again, have been real no. These are some of the questions we will be addressing when we go in focus. The state of the oh, yes. and its impact on our society. I fed up look at you. The midterm budget eh? review. I said, fed up, look at you. Industry leaders, analysts, <laughs> chambers of Congress, and take your calls on this very engaging discussion. In focus, this Wednesday, on Power 102. Close enough in our while, you've got nothing really. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Before you act, uh, think yeah. twice. Think mm. twice. Mm. Think mm. clean. Mm. Go green. For environmental awareness. I'm checking the news. Power 102 yeah, FM and Boom 94 that's FM continue to champion responsible actions for life, safety, and now... Don't forget to give me a card, you know. Our planet is what we make of I close enough so in a while because that will affect him and those. To reduce, to reuse, to recycle, to conserve, to preserve, to responsibly dispose, and to be more mindful of how we impact the world around us. For this generation... The rest and season, right? <laughs> Join us for daily tips on how you can get involved at home, at work, and in your community. So you can add to it now after that dry as well. Help change the culture and behaviors for a greener, more environmentally conscious TNT. Think twice, think twice. For environmental awareness. Brought to you by Swim Cole, the Trinidad and Tobago Solid Waste Management Company Limited. Power 102 FM and Boom 94 in association with the Guide Group of Companies. Bush Mountain TT, Solo Enterprises, the Trinidad and Tobago Police Credit Union, and the Price Club Supermarket. Think twice, think twice for a cleaner, greener Trinidad and Tobago. that when it comes to nighttime radio and sex education, we are always one step ahead. You are listening to Sex Explosion on this Friday evening with sexologist Dr. Ryan Gerandon and the only one in the Caribbean right here on Power 102 FM. Yeah. So, with all these challenges that we face as human beings, especially as men, when it comes to, well, you know, they tell you that it, the most difficult thing is to understand a woman. Mm, yeah. Because of the hormonal changes throughout the month. Uh, of course, men have sexual cycles, but not so much our hormonal changes mm -hmm. that is going to affect us, but more so the, um, the women go through that. Yeah. And it's very difficult to understand them under normal circumstances. Mm. Okay. I want to go. for the sexual mm. part. I want to go back to Tick Source here because uh, she. Um, First of all, she said, I want to experience a girl. Right, you remember that? She said, okay. And uh, she says that I want to try it with a smile. And then she follow up with, where could I get that service, Dr. Raj? Any hints? Well, I can tell you, sweetheart, what you can do is call 7401961. Mm -hmm. Okay, tick sauce. Hmm. Send a message to 7401961. Yeah. And we will deal with that. Deal, more than deal. Could you play all four? <laughs> it will be a full dealing. Yes, yes, yes. You know, in another dimension, in the animal world, 
What I what what what, what do you think that would have been represented? Russian. <laughs> no, the liquid. Yeah, well, that was, <laughs> doesn't that come from Russia? <laughs> Uh, it's just fascinating, yeah, you know. Yeah, boy, yes, I tell you. I see him cutting some canals in the just yeah, also. Yeah, yeah. He's filling up the canal. Filling up the canal, yeah. This thing looking good, man. What that next? That next coat you put in? Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Did you come on the pellet? Yes, did it? The numbers looking three. Ah. Oh, oh, hey, look at that, eh? Three D, boy. Three Ds. Folks, we are watching some fascinating work in here, you know. Life is a learning experience, and when you see things like this, you learn something new all the time. It's called liquid glass. Liquid glass. And it's done by what? AK? AK Designs. They're doing the studio right now, the table in the studio that we had so many fun memories of. Yes. Well, now the memory is gone. Memory. They block off the memories. They're burying it. They're burying it under glass. So but it's a, actually a liquid glass that he's pouring onto this surface. Mm. It's just fascinating to watch. Yeah. Liquid glass. I never heard of that before, though, before, before tonight. I never heard of it, so. No, I never heard Somebody of it. tell me liquid glass, I thought it was some kind of drug. Yeah. Because it's called, you know, drugs, different names, you know. So, so I say, well, it had to be some kind of drug. No, well, if somebody mentioned to me, you know, that is liquid glass, I said, who made that? Who made it is right. Hmm. Fascinating, the things you learn from this explosion. Yeah. And when you think of what that team and we go, uh, like. we, we, we have already discussed doing a counter at the at Total Image. Mm -hmm. So persons will come there and see it. It's just fascinating. So you could do this in a home too. Yeah. You could do this anywhere. Glass your table. Have a nice table. You put your picture on your glass. You glass it. You do that. Yeah. You, you don't want to put junior table, put picture on that table, though. No, believe me. No. People won't drink. No, too much women would want to buy the table. <laughs> do, could you put a vagina on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's yeah. the table I want. There you go. A vagina on that table. And I know the perfect vagina for that, too. Eh? Yeah. Easy. We'll get easy to pose for that. Yeah, I, I have to see. <laughs> I have to meet Easy, I know. Why, why so you much? have to meet Izzy? Because I've been here. We'll so put much Izzy vagina you. in the middle of that table. A nice little, I have a nice little um, table that I usually eat on. Uh -huh. Yes, I'll have the. Um... <laughs> <laughs> That's a private joke. <laughs> no, how big a table is that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm sure he could have, so have I'm sure he could expand the size of the vagina yeah. so you shrink have, it to suit. Yeah. So you have a special table you eat Yes, at? put put yeah. the easy, easy vagina on it. Okay. Easy. Mm -hmm. I tell you. I like it. No, but it's no it really looks great. Is he are you going to volunteer a photograph of your vagina? It really looks great. Or maybe vaginas. Mm-hmm. I thick sauce heavy into this thing, boy. Repeat that number. Um thick sauce, the number you can Call to get that arrangement is 740 1961. 740 1961. No one ever could make that. I've given you eight minutes again because it, I feel like getting high. <laughs> you feel like getting high? Not I feel like I'm not getting high. But the, you set up something. The chemical is there. Yeah. Ammonia. Yeah. yeah. Hey, bro. What's up, man? People all of a sudden, you see, that's a slower yeah, voice. It really looks sound, It's because of the liquid glass in the studio. Right. It really looks nice. Uh, it really, really... Folks, you all should see this. I'm sure they could see it on the camera. Yes, they could. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, you yes. Can yes. See if you'll, and result. you've seen it being done live in the yeah, studio. Yeah, yeah. Live. Mm -hmm. Liquid glass in your grass. Right. Yeah. I got a, I got a, um, a cup for my birthday. Yeah. And when you pour hot liquid in it, my grandson appears on the cup. I love that cup. Oh. I love that cup. Mm -hmm, yeah. Every morning I yeah, have my I tea really with that, that cup. Boy. Oh my God, yeah, I was blown it, away with um, that. Yes, yes. I saw. Um, I was blown away by that. Tixos says that she likes you, Dr. Raj. I ain't got a like from Tixos. I pick up a Tixos. I ain't got a yeah, like. You. You, 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 you're passing all her information all and she like you. She like me. But I blame she. Like you, Dr. Raj. So family. I can't blame her. 
family girl that see why you watching she why you watching through the camera and see what you look like and said nah boy i can't like you so i thought he was like that said watching that money <laughs> no, you have a face for radio. Eh? <laughs> That's why he's on radio. <laughs> mm, are you telling you? Mm. We both have faces for radio. For me. Oh yes, oh yes. We don't want television. No, we don't. No, 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 no. We don't want that. We don't want that. Anyway, folks, that brings us mm. to twenty-five minutes after to eleven o'clock. Six five more minutes right here on Power One Two Point One FM. So you've got exactly five more minutes in which you can interact with Doctor Raj. Why, if you're in studio, feel free. Two 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 eight two five five. Also at six one two eight two five five. Yeah. How many quotes you put on that? Two. Just two. Yes. All right. So we we suffer in through this one and that's it. Mm -hmm. Julian, I'm sorry, but I have to leave in here. You know that. So folks, for those of you who are listening, still sending your messages and whatnot, we appreciate that very much. I hope you all learned something from the program tonight. We answer a few questions. Ah, again, mm. a nice. Mm, Leslie sent in some nice photographs. Where's Leslie from? Whom? I know she. I know she's home. Some nice, nice pics. That's good. What are examples of the restriction husband placed on their wife during male, male, female? Also, what is an example <coughs> of the wife wanting more? <coughs> Okay, for example, one of the restrictions that sometimes a husband will, will will place on the wife is no oral sex. No oral. Right? Yeah. But sometimes the wife would want that. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the restrictions I could think about. I could think about a few others. Um, if you're in a situation like that, restrictions seem silly, just let her enjoy herself. That's right. Mm -hmm. But there are many a times, because of a man's ego, he places mm -hmm. restrictions. Hmm. Mary says she's looking at the table. So you see the guy brushing the table. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what he's doing? Using a brush on the table? Yes, he is. He's brushing yeah. the table. Yeah. So Mary, you like how you brush any table? Yeah. I think maybe could see it looked like she uh... Doctor Raj, I want to know if a woman take male enhancement tablets. Will it do anything to her? What is male you mean like testosterone tablets? Mm hmm it's going to become more aggressive. That's yeah. all. Because it's going to interfere with our hormones. Mm. Definitely because you're taking something to raise something that you don't want to raise in your body. No. You want it to raise but it's it? not the tablet so much that has caused the problem, you know. It's those who are taking the testosterone shots. Mm. Good night, cricket question. What do you think the West Indies chances of winning the World Cup and how satisfied are you? Of the selection of the final 15 that is exclude Bravo and Pollard. I think West Indies could win the World Cup. Yeah, it is possible. It's yeah. possible. Anything is possible in this life. Mm -hmm. I don't see them doing it, but it is possible. Yeah. And I'm not totally in. I think we have a. We don't have a. We don't have a well balanced team. Mm -hmm. And there, there are some guys who are coming to the fore now. But give them a chance. Oh, yes. Yeah. So like, it's like West Indies. Like everything else. They could pull off the biggest surprise or the biggest upset and win yeah. the World Cup. Yeah, possible. They did it to the possible. T20. They did it in the T20. Why they can't do it in the World Cup? Yeah. Remember, everyone playing everyone nine times, you know? It's nine times? Nine times. So this they playing, they playing in nine different teams. So mm -hmm. our team will play nine teams. Mm -hmm. And everyone does that. We're not finishing next Um, time. Steve, uh, there's a, a viewer says that she like how he's brushing the table. <laughs> yeah. That's what she said. Yeah. And she mentioned that he's using the thing in his hand. To joke. To joke. <laughs> he's a good joke hand brusher. <laughs> so with that, folks, we have reached, what, the final minute of our program tonight. The abridged version, because I tell you, I'm feeling high. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I could, I, I wouldn't get any breathalyzer anything when I go up, though. I wouldn't feel my breathalyzer. Yeah, the traffic. No, I see the traffic, but believe me, I saw it. I saw that, and I, I, I'm going to get away from it. I know where I'm passing. I'm passing through the dangerous area. Yeah, I hear Why? You don't pass the air freight? Yeah, now, I'll pass through the... Uh, should I do that? I know somebody vets are ready for him. I say that. Last time I passed through the dangerous area, it wasn't so nice. Mm. 
vaccinated her. Yes, oh, oh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Massive amount of that. <laughs> yeah, I saw the traffic when I was coming. So, folks, until next week, remember Thursday, there's no program. It's a public holiday, Indian Arrival Day. We'll be back on on Friday with okay. Sex Explosion. Yep. You can still send your questions to me anytime during the week because I get tonloads of questions every single day to answer. And for those of you who are, we have decided, Junior, and I'm going to end with this. Mm -hmm. Anyone who is receiving uh, what it's called, the grant from government, mm -hmm. 65 and over, they get a special rate to come to this clinic because there was a gentleman who came today after listening to last night's program. Yeah. And he came for mm -hmm. advice. And I just, I couldn't charge him anything. I mm -hmm. just couldn't do it. But that's um, nice, man. Yeah, so that is we're going to have a special rate for mm -hmm. anyone who is 65 and over. That is what you call giving back. We always give back. We find a way to give back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. Great. That's what I enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. So, folks, with that, you can call 645-4543 to make your appointment. Not tonight. They close. 11 o'clock, they close. Mm -hmm. They'll be back on tomorrow at 8. Tomorrow at 8 o'clock. When Steve mm -hmm. is doing his morning program, uh -huh. Saturday. So, um, so, <laughs> Steve, so Steve could eat. Steve ate then. Get Steve to do a morning program on 8 o'clock. No, he, would have, he wants a Saturday morning for his double son. What do you mean? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Steve always talking about that, you know. I could just watch Steve and see Q-Rep mark all over his face. <laughs> is is Q-Rep you go for doubles with Steve? That's where he lives. No, I go by Ali's in Barataria. 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 Ali's, Ali's, a, Ali's a popular guy. Yeah. yeah. So with that, folks, good night. Mm -hmm. Until been, next week. Mm -hmm. You've been listening to Sex Explosion on Power 102 FM with the only sex knowledgeist in the Caribbean, Dr. Ryan Ramanan. Mm -hmm. Special thanks to him as always. And just to remind you once again, for those of you who are listening to Sex Explosion for the very first time, Sex Explosion is featured here on Power 102 FM every Thursday and Friday, right here. From 80 to 90 Agricola Street in Port of Spain.